Oh my gosh, hi everybody, I'm Gladys, love to see you in the last episode, welcome to episode 24 of Sword Art Online Odd, I'm so glad to have you all back here today, and I hope you really enjoyed the episode, as we get back to the Odd Guild, and maybe we'll find out some more fun tea time drama, so I hope to see you all later, ciao dolls! Where he disappeared, you see that there is a scroll on the ground, but in a pile of his black blood. Mission, mistress, delay. My Wi-Fi password? <laughs> Wait, so I, you just you just summon up to Zana gets her bird back? Yeah. There's no- A magical flash of purple light emanates and all of a sudden lightning strikes from the ceiling and bam, your bird is magically attuned into your arms. Is that better? Absolutely no more purple from you too. I told you my grandma, Babe Horsat, for the, the mafia. Is that her name? What? It sounded like a name, Babe Horsat. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say baby set, but... Oh my god. Emily, is that you? All right, so do all the ladies volunteer for tea? I'm down for tea time. I'm down for tea time. I feel warm emotions. Wilson seems to be struggling. And as he's doing this, he's actually reaching his hands up towards his neck. And he takes his necklace off. All right. Welcome all of my beautiful players and wonderful listeners back to another episode after a, a, a little bit of a break. So um, because it's been a little longer than usual, everyone uh, sound off and uh, to tell us what you remember. But it's been a while for you guys, not for the listeners, but mostly for us. Anyone want to? Okay. Um, there we go. Hi, I'm Daniel, playing Daniel because I'm have original. Original Ali, yes. That's how you've introduced yourself <laughs> for the past five. I, that's how you've introduced yourself for the yes, past I'm five aware. episodes. I'm aware. By the third okay. time, I was like, I'm just gonna keep doing this because. Tell, tell us something about your, your boring, unoriginal self, Daniel. Either you were because the character, I don't care. Because he is original. Oh, his very original self. Gosh. Wait, do you want me to tell something about myself I, I, or the or. story? I, I don't care. You, you do you, my guy. Well, let's do both. Okay, there you go. Well, apparently, taking my dog here with me is like the anti-commuter thing mm. because showing up late twice out of two times. Your dog, Kava, is too great that the universe must penalize you. for. That's 100%. True. Two I times late, 100%. Yeah. She's just sitting here like panting in my general direction. <laughs> She's so cute. All right. I love her so um, uh, Besides the dogs being in the studio. Well, we met Gladys. There you go. We didn't get stabbed by her dozen or so people yeah. who were there. So that's fantastic. It's always a bonus. Oh, something more happened with Gladys. <laughs> we, can you please we'll, we'll not? get to you later. We defeated that darkness demon mm -hmm. person yeah. thing. Physical thing of salt. Uh, I don't know. Physical embodiment of salt. <laughs> there you go. Um, now we're back in the town or one of the temples, I think. All right. N next. You seemed excited to go. Oh, yeah. You've got um, a lot to say. Sorry. No, no. Just just like one thing to say. Hi, I'm Mohit. That's I'm your one playing thing. Sal. <laughs> That's your one thing. There you go. <laughs> no, no, he's good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep I'm going. Playing, I'm playing Sal in, in the podcast. Um, as far as last episode is concerned, we, yes, we met Gladys. She's, uh, she's hot. Mm. I like her. <laughs> um, I, I seem to hit it off with her pretty well. We got a date coming up pretty soon. I'm pretty excited. So, yeah. Do you have, wait, do you have a date? Yes, do, they did. Yeah, yeah we, have a, we have a tea time date, just the two of us. Did, they, did you ever put a date on that date, or did you just say, we'll do it? We I said we'll do it, but I have her number. I have her number. Her contact so information. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to get a hold of her. You need to schedule. Yeah. The date, so our man. next filler episode, like I'll, I'll there you I'll go. Just do You'll that. have a point five yeah. finally. Yeah. There you go. Okay. All right. And anyone else? <clears throat> I I can go. There we go. Hi guys, I'm Snow playing Snow, hmm. and uh, I feel bad for last episode. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I apologize to Wilson. Not in game, he, you not haven't game, yet. But I feel bad as a player, and also as, as Snow also feels really bad. Yeah, you guys can just continue to awkwardly awkward. stare into bowls of soup. I mean, probably that's probably happen. how it's gonna go yeah. for a while. But uh, I, I feel bad. <laughs> Snow so hit himself. Was okay, pissed. so like, uh, just backstory as a, as like as like someone who has written like like screenplays of of uh, specifically romance stuff like. 
Come on, man. That was her opportunity. Come on, man. I, that I, was your chance. I handed it to her on it's silver platter. I love rom coms. You don't get it. Like, it's too early. Yeah, but you know We've what? known each other for like what? A three month? Weeks? Yeah, three, three, three weeks yeah. to a month now. It's not been long enough. Also, uh, remember, my character just got out of a relationship. Hey, in, in the Breakfast Club, okay? We're not in the two, Breakfast Club. This is not the Breakfast Club. Those two breakfast get club. together in like three hours, okay? I've, I've never seen the Breakfast, <laughs> right. breakfast Club no. anyway, so. Oh, I feel bad now. Hi, I'm RL. I'm playing Zana. I'm emotionally dead right now, and that's okay. Um, uh, interesting fact about Zana is that uh, she has severe allergies, but only to like weird things mm. like pepper in food or <laughs> I might have made you <laughs> food casual with things. Probably. She usually goes through the pain and just bears with it. It's lovely. Oh, maybe, so like everything Gordon Ramsay makes is no. <laughs> maybe her stating that's my fetish is really just her allergic reaction. That could be. <laughs> that could be it's, a, it's a nervous yeah. disorder. The nervous tick. There you go. Whenever she's just nervous. That's awkward, my fetish. That's my fetish. There you go. Yeah, that's like that's that's okay. science behind the reason. No, I don't like that because that's making fun of. I don't like that. No. She, she withdraws previous statements. All right. Well, now that we are all wonderfully resituated with what all has gone. I'm proud of you guys. You remembered what happened. Look at you guys. We done. have our friend Pierre back. And you do. Yeah. Uh, he has a beautiful top hat. He does have a beautiful top hat. <laughs> Infinite um, food. You all, last time we left off, were eating dinner, lounging around the camp. I'm just going to say that you guys went went to bed. Staring awkwardly into soup. For the evening, after a, a very cut and dry, <laughs> awkward silence of soup staring for some individuals. And other individuals, it was a merry reunion of characters and a joyous celebration of newfound relationships. And it's just, everything's kicked off and gone in multiple different directions. And you find yourselves waking up the next morning after a, a lovely and good rest outside of the caves. It's uh, well welcome. Uh, so everyone, please roll. Morning roll. rolls. Morning rolls. Yeah, I love morning rolls. Some no. of my players, for some reason, most favorite thing. Seven. Eighteen. Because we love relationships <laughs> and building character. Sixteen. Okay. I was a seven. We both got seven. Hmm. I hope we All wake right. up next to each other. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yes. give the GM ideas. Oh no no no. <laughs> so Zana, Xerxes Zion finds herself in her. Normal puddle of companions filled with her bird, her horse, and burrito her, man, and her burrito man, Daki Makura. But she she feels an extra extra warm presence that seems to be sobbing and a little bit emotionally stressed and overwhelmed. You gave the GM ideas. I did. I, is it like next to me? Where it's, is it's it? It's right next to you. Is a it little really bit. sobbing or just like it, a it, muffled? It's like it's a, it's a muffled. Okay, it's, so it's, it's a muffled. muffled. Okay, purely. I'll That's give true. it give it a hug. You, you feel a little bit like. Some curly hair is kind of poking you in the back of your neck. Turn around, give her a hug, pet the hair. There you go. It's okay. Thank you. She's, by the way, she's been there for almost half the night. She came in in the middle of the night. Like, okay. M- muffled topic, I need a friend. Oh, this actually feels down. really nice. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to just, just sh- I you're finger just... up to lips. Sh- 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 okay, I'll just. Okay. And that that's how. We... Okay. That That's how it goes for, for the next hour. While everyone else is waking up, <laughs> Clyde's still asleep, so he doesn't notice anything. And he's, she's just good friendship, good good female friendship. We're married right now. You We're are engaged. You are engaged. <laughs> oh yes, this that that happened. Yes, the cursed things. What are you talking about? No one knows what that does. It's amazing. Zana hasn't exploded yet. Honestly, how many cursed magical items do you have? Seven. No. Mm-hmm. Nope. Pretty sure you pick some of them back up. I dropped the necklace and the bracelet. So what all do you have on you then? I dropped the necklace. You have a crown, a dagger, a cloak, right? I dropped the necklace and the bracelet. I have the two matching rings on. I gave, um, what is it? Uh, Pierre, the fancy top hat. Yeah. So now all I have is the stone mask. The whip, which I am not getting rid of, and the leather armor and the crown. And the dagger. Uh, n- not the leather armor, sorry. The um, dagger and the crown. Yes. So, four. Plus the five. Plus the ring. And you have the top hat. No, and, Pierre is well, hat. Well, I'm say- saying how many you took. Then you took the top hat. Hmm. Then you took the circlet for, or the, the crown for Angus. 
And doesn't bird have something? Not Caspian. Angus. Caspian. A- Angus is the Wilson source. Caspian. No. Doesn't the bird have anything? Um. I thought the bird took something. No. I gave uh, the bird my little flower crown. Bird has your flower crown. Yes. So Alistair currently has a monocle and a flower crown. Monocle was given by death. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> it's a fantastic image in my head. Yeah, just a, a monocle and a flower crown on a crow that flies around. That's actually adorable. By the way, that... Need to get it drawn. <laughs> Those... Objects stay on it no matter what form he changes into. Aww. So if he transforms into a dog, oh, or wait a, a second, person, a wait a second, monocle, that might not be a good thing though. Then they could distinguish. They could distinguish yes. who's who. No, it's still it's still super. The skies check probably goes down. No, it's still stupid high. It, it, okay. it, it's really easy, very believable, and, and okay, transforming uh, creature. It, it's got a lot of points into the skies. With that all being said, it, everyone just slowly stirs and goes about their morning rituals, uh, consumes whatever sustenance you need for the day. And uh, yeah. Good question. Did I wake up next to him? No. Nope. Okay. You just right. slept normally. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just, okay. All right. All right. Move on. Daniel's Move on. happy with that. Move on. All right. Everyone uh, does whatever they need to do for the day. If you are a spellcaster, you prepare your spells, you uh, fix your robots, you uh, <laughs> do whatever is necessary, and um, you're... You're all gathered around the uh, campfire after having eaten breakfast, and you are deciding what to what to do from here. Good morning, everyone. <sighs> uh, morning. Is my face like all red still, or has it cooled down? Um, your face is a little calmed down, but your eyes are still a little red and puffy. It was a lack of sleep. That's allergies good. in the desert. Allergies. <laughs> I have allergies. Me know, too. Just saying. To emotion. No. <laughs> I'm allergic to emotion. I'll step over to um to Sal. I'm allergic to uh, stupid people. It's you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Note taken. All right. We all know that's not what the S stands for. It's okay. Yeah, stupid of water. <laughs> Didn't need to be said, but you said it. Not yep. me. <laughs> yeah. All right. So good morning, everyone. Also, I don't know why we haven't thought about going to a hotel yet, but yeah. <laughs> mm, you want to go to a hotel? Saves the cash money. Yeah, no, yeah, you're we're stingy. Right. Wilson speaks up. We don't need to not camp out. I once stayed in the wilderness for a month straight in the Boy Scouts. Eagle Scouts. Anyone, anyone make a perception check? Uh, that's not, motive. <laughs> 26. It's, it's not every... 17. 20. 18. E- everyone... Oh, wait. Only an 18? Yeah. Oh, okay. 20. 17. Um, Both Sal and Snow notice that under his breath and subtly he, he folds his hand into a bird and he says... As he says, Eagle Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, nobody in Eagle Scouts does that. Oh, no, they do. Nobody in my troop did it. I know somebody who does do that. I want a lot of backstory. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Right. In real life, I know somebody who does that. And that is what Wilson does. So yeah, he says, oh, yeah, I was kept out for a month straight in Eagle Scouts. <laughs> mm. So nobody said it. I'll say it. I want to get a divorce, no. Me too. I'm sorry, but this relationship can't go to, go on. As much as I love girls, I'm not gay. Are you just like sitting us down like kids, like two parents trying to tell their kids <laughs> that they're, they're getting a divorce? divorce basically. That, that's what it seems like. After happening. being married with you for, for overnight, for like half a day, I realized that this was uh, a mistake, an accident, uh, and meant to be a joke, but... Um, yeah, I do love and care for you. Well, right. We can stay friends. Right, but who gets visitation rights? Where, where was, where were you two, Las Vegas? We were up on the mountain. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing <laughs> snow Cave gets of visitation. Two lovers. <laughs> oh my gosh! Stop. <laughs> Broke back Come mountain. One another. We're a tunnel. Okay, okay, we're out of the secret tunnel. You, you yelled at me for saying that too much. Don't you get into it. Callahan and Selena are like, we're actually going to go off on our own and get rid of all the bad juju that uh, kind of clinged on to us from the caves. We just, just we're gonna go to the temple of Ishtar and cleanse ourselves. What do you mean by cleanse yourself? I just it gave me bad vibes when I was in there. Does the temple of Ishtar like remove curses or something? Uh, no, not particularly, but it's the closest thing to the god in which we worship, and so we'll just go in there to purify our souls mostly. We could, also, because it refines our divine spell casting abilities and whatnot. We could probably go to like a magic shop that would have dispel curse. Oh, right, all right. <laughs> yeah, that's probably. A good oh idea. wait, <laughs> dude, Galahand, you have dispel curse. Uh, no. No. Oh. No. He can't dispel this one. It's too oh. strong. I told you. I tried. I looked at it. No do. Stars. Not <laughs> aligned. Can't do it. Fine. Have you talked to Tiffany lately about those memes? 
<laughs> Who's Tiffany? Our blacksmith. Oh, <gasps> blacksmith. <laughs> I love black men. He is. He is. I a, said, yeah. He is a, yeah. Oh my gosh. So he's double black and his last name is Smith. Nice. I mean, you are no the one guild. Asked his last name. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany Smith. I mean, you could message him. I don't know his last name. He is in the guild. Message uh, Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. Whoa, new phone. Who's this? This is Zana. You don't know me. I've heard a lot about you. What? Oh, who, who's been talking about me? Uh, the guild leader, Snow. Oh, I love that lady. No, I'm so glad that she's been talking about me. What do you need? You? Sure, where? <gasps> he said yes! <laughs> <laughs> and I just, do you say that out loud? Yeah. What? He said yes to what? what Wilson me? Speaks, Wilson speaks up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You just got, div you're not even divorced yet too soon. You don't even have the rings off yet. At least. What does Clyde think about that? There are a lot of things that are too soon this week. Yeah, you're not wrong. I look at Wilson a little bit, and I look away really quickly. I don't know if he'll catch it. We'll see. It oh, it was awkward. I can still cut the tension with a <laughs> knife. It's palpable. It's looming in the air. I, I hear you're a blacksmith. Yeah. Does that mean you're black? Yeah. And your last name is Smith? Correct. Wow. You, there could not have been a better profession for you. <laughs> That's what my mama said when I was growing up. Are you just really good with metal and other hard things? Absolutely. That's why you always hear a lot of banging in the forge. Mm. Uh, so can can he come here? Can we, like, keep him? I mean, he'd have to travel all the way from probably Wait. Brian's Secret down here. Text I don't think Tiffany. he can get here. Yeah. How tall are you? Uh, I don't know. It's been a while since I last measured myself. I don't have doctor's visits in this game. What the heck do you he, need to know his height for? He's five two. Uh, he's a relatively large. He's not a dwarf. I'll tell you that uh, much. Six foot three. Six foot three. Can you carry someone maybe you know mid weight five five on your shoulders? Uh, probably without any issues as long as I'm not carrying a lot of my gear. I normally carry a lot on me. I've been trying to work on this new thing where I have a mobile forge. It just kind of like collapses and goes on wheels, and I carry it around like a luggage bag. Um. Do you, do you want to join out with our group? I mean, like I said, the collapsible forge isn't done yet, so I'm kind of working on that, and I'm also kind of working with uh, Celia right now um, to try and get everything done. Cool, cool. You can work on that. I'll, I'll get back to you. Send memes. <laughs> Send, <laughs> Send memes. memes. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, how I end all of my conversations. Well, once a d uh, after ev before every evening, just uh, check your chat history. There will be a new meme there for you. I'll send him memes, too. Okay. <laughs> Well, now that I've had a conversation with a black man, which is the greatest way to start the morning, what do you say we get this thing off? Yeah, I mean, that's fine by me. Someone roll a knowledge local. What do no. I have enough? <laughs> the one person I was expecting to get it just crit failed. 20 total. You know... Who's you? I do it no. again. <laughs> no, <laughs> you just failed miserably. No. You were like, oh, we can get that done anywhere. Uh, that's exactly what you thought. Whereas, uh, Snow, you realize that uh, curses are a little taboo. So we need to go to the alchemist, the uh, crazy one. And aren't they all? Most I people wish. will see a curse and just think, oh, oh no, you have a curse. Don't give that to me. The only way to solve it is kill you. The gods uh, brought it on you. So you need to be smote and your entire bloodline is cursed forever. So we need to just end it now. But you do know with that high of a knowledge local check that there is a black market in town that specializes in a number of things. And you think that might be the only place to get the curse removed. Well, that's that's just convenient. Let's go there. <laughs> <sighs> I, and you said I have it. I know where the black market is. You know, of a black market, you might need to do a little bit more investigating Logic would dictate would. to you, because of your high roll, that it would probably be somewhere situated near the trading district, down by the port, but closer towards the slums. We're outside of town still, right? We're still outside of town on the eastern side of town, outside the Temple of Alani. So. Yes. We're going to have to do a little bit of a digging, but I think we need to get to the black market. Mm -hmm. Use your uh, skills, mm -hmm. Master of Seduction. Yes. I need you to use your skills. Correct. To get us to the black market. Sure. Consider it done. I've never looked this focused in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so During Galahan show. and Selena are actually currently heading out on their own way. As you're talking with Zana and Sal, uh, Wilson and Clyde actually approach you. Mm -hmm. um, and Wilson's like, um... Oh, the awkwardness continues. <laughs> do you mind if we uh, talk in private for a second? Clyde and Wilson? No, just Wilson. 
To me? Yeah. Sure, I'll talk to Clyde. Yeah, sure. And Wilson just pushes <laughs> him towards you. Oh, oh, okay. Hey. How you doing? How you doing? I made breakfast, so uh, that all went pretty well. Thank you. Yeah. You didn't put any uh, pomegranate in no, there? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm done with the pomegranate. I'm not even using that as a ingredient anymore. It's uh, frowned upon in this establishment for the specific group of people, and we're just going to stay away from... Mm-hmm. You know what happens when you eat pomegranate. Uh, what? You eat a pomegranate. And we've seen how that goes, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> so Wilson pulls you aside. Should I roll a will save? Sure. A will son save. save. That's pretty. What, what's your? Seven plus the eight. So, so 15. that's 15. Uh, that's borderline. Take that as you will for control of your own emotions. Okay. So um, just got to be blunt about this. Uh, Hi, Blunt. I'm Snow. Good to meet you. Good to meet um, you. And they awkwardly shake hands. Uh, so. Oh, well, I'm watching all this, by the uh, way. I, I, how long do you plan on uh, staying in town before we head back out again? Um, Can I, I crit on perception? Yes, you are over here. Yes. Well, uh, let's see. Like a day or two? My character suddenly remembers the deadline. Oh, crap, crap, crap. I got a deadline to meet. I was supposed what? to be what back deadline? in seven days. Oh, wait. Yeah. We've been Snow. out. We've been out for four or five days already. I know. We're not going to make it in time. I was supposed to invade the temple. Yeah, like almost a week ago to this day. Okay. We're not going to be able to make it there in two days. Okay, here's what we do. We break into the castle. We tell the princess that it's going to be delayed, and then we break out of the castle, and then we go into the desert. Oh, okay. That or... With since- that be... If you're going to get an extension, uh, me and Clyde were actually talking, um, and uh, Clyde was also interested. I, I was planning on maybe, like, taking a, a leave of absence, and because um, you, I talked to you before... About how I wanted to go back to the first floor and potentially explore the north, because I wanted to finish my first floor map and everything. I mean, there were cavaliers down there, and I just felt like maybe now would be an appropriate time to take a, a vacation, if you would. Oh um, my! Uh, so you're running away? Like you did last night? Yes. Ooh, Z snap! I, I just needed needed a moment to collect myself and rediscover who I am as a person, you know? I'm calling it right now. Brokeback Mountain with Clyde and Wilson. It's going to happen. So wait, Clyde's going with you? Uh, I mean, Clyde also said he wanted to go because, like I said, there's a lot of Cavaliers down there. And he said he might be able to find some nice things for Haku. Uh, and he was also interested in going down. And we figured it would be like a cool little like buddy trip. And I figured if you were just planning on staying in the town anyways, like, unless you, if you needed us, like, I'd be willing to stay for you if you wanted us around. But um, from last night, kind of seemed like you wanted some space. So figured this might be a good opportunity. I feel like there are words being put in my mouth that I didn't even speak. Yeah. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Back it up here. Back it up like... 30 steps. He starts backing away. No, 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 no. Okay, don't, no, no, no. <laughs> First off, Wilson, we don't have time to lollygag and go on vacations. Air quotes. Well, I mean, you were already planning on... I wasn't going to be staying here. I'm trying to get out of this floor to the next floor at some point. I, I get that, but you're current, like, we're, you're getting an extension anyways. So if we, we would be back in, like, three, maybe four days... Three, maybe four days. And we can meet you back outside of the temple or where we have found to be close to the temple so that we can be with the party again and assist when need be, but this is just something that we personally wanted to do. Oh, so wait, can I, can I get something straight with the GM? Yeah. So so the way it kind of looks like right now, because mm-hmm. we have to go back to a temple in mm-hmm. seven days, right from mm-hmm. our, when a mission was given. Yeah. So, right? so that's in two to, days. Yeah. And then we're all essentially, so if this goes through, then you and Clyde or Wilson and Clyde will be off doing their own thing during that time. I'm going to go off trying to find like a spell thing or whatever, which basically only leaves a couple people to go okay, well, do this she's big trying giant to get an ex- quest. She's trying to get an extension Okay. for the quest. Okay. So it, was that given by death? No. Okay. By Kali, who gave her the necklace. <laughs> I'm just trying to find my ground here. Like, I, like I said, if you think um, you need us around, we don't mind sticking around. It's just this is something uh, we wanted to do. and we I feel to... like this is the conversation that should also involve Zana because, I mean, if Clyde's going to be running off, well, that's too. Why I, I, yeah. Why, are you, why is it just why well, did it have I to just be wanted you to, I wanted to. Well, I mean, 
you're the guild leader, uh -huh. so I wanted to run it by you. And there was also like, what happened last night? And I just wanted what to like- What happened last night? And he's doing his little finger thing again um, that he hasn't done in a really long time. Um, I perception check. Is he wearing the necklace? I crit. He's not. What the hell? So, um, <laughs> I mean, like, you know, I kind of went out, made myself vulnerable, and then you kind of ran away and left me hanging there. Oh, hang on. And didn't, didn't say on. anything. <laughs> you can interrupt. You're hearing this conversation. You oh, are. really? No, 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 no. I'm scooching over. Is Zana, is Zana still listening to this conversation? Oh, I can't. Can I scooch you, over to Zana? perception check this conversation. Zana's still there, right? That would You're be... talking to Clyde, so you're that distracted. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm thinking to myself then. It would be 22 then. in person. I'm still thinking, talking to Clyde. I'm thinking negative. to myself then. Oh, snap. True love breaks the curses. Okay. That yeah. makes sense. That, that makes that sense. That can be your thought, because yes. he Because he remembers what he was doing with his necklace on. He broke the curse as soon as mm. he found his true love. That, that can be his thought you. process. There you go. And then... Inside, so I'm, no, I'm thinking about how to apply that towards it, these two. Inside the mind of Sal, Daniel's got the most <laughs> flabbergasted face I have ever seen. And he adjusts his glasses. Oh, come and on, takes tell them me off. that's not the biggest Disney thing you've ever heard it, of. It, it would be, okay. but do you think I'm that kind of writer? That kind of boy? No. Yes. <laughs> okay, so. This is a lot more pressure than I'm asking for. The curse can only be well, broken. Well, like I, I said, I was... It, 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 a true it, love's first kiss. I mean, no. We've you, been together since the beginning. Yeah, and I... You're right. Exactly. So now you're just going to run off? No, 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 no. I, I thought you just might uh, like some space. When did I say I needed space? By... Well, you said it non-verbally by teleporting away from me. I okay. kind of did. When I said I was willing to wait for you. You, you did... You did do that. I hold saw on, it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You messaged me after the fact saying that you were willing to wait. What kind of nonsense is this? Okay, that, that's fair. Okay, I'm just, I don't know. It just, it, it's, like I said, I don't want to put any pressure on you. That's why I thought it might be easier if I gave us some space, but just know that I'm here for you. So if you want me around, me, So you want me to, to say stay around because I want you around. The confirmation would be nice. The deep irony of this conversation is you're now putting more pressure on her by asking not to put pressure on her. I'm looking around for, like, help, like... She's like a cornered animal right now, can looking around. Can Zana walk over? You uh, roll for perception? I did. You're still at negative. She's been watching, you're, she said. Well, she's been trying to, but she's at negative because she's talking with Clyde right now. Uh, 20. Total? Yeah. Fails. Just barely. Well, your last one also failed just barely. I thought, like, I was just talking to Clyde for a little bit. What, what are we talking about now? <laughs> Daki Makura's. Pull it. <laughs> anime. Weeb stuff. Weeb stuff. He's having a hard time wrap, wrapping his head around it because he doesn't watch that much anime. He's heard of it. So you know, like, those harem animes? What? <gasps> um, <laughs> no. Do you know what a harem is? Yes. I have a proposal. Sure. And you guys go in deep, th in depth conversation about what we have talked about outside of game. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, which everyone else will find out at a later date, perhaps. Oh, no. So, no. What is your final say to Wilson? Do you let him go, or do you ask for him to stay around? Uh, it's, 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 uh, we have uh, combat in the arena. We, I mean, uh, if you wanted, uh, like I said, if you wanted us, we could stick around. Sure, that works. Sure, that that that, that works. That, that's really that's great. Yeah, stick around. Good yeah. talk. And you just yeah, you both shake hands. Great d d decision. Good. Remember. Good can job. Can I see? I can see this. Oh yeah, so you can see this incredibly awkward situation. I lean over to Klein, and they thought that we were awkward. I know, right? Put my arm around Klein. Look at us, all not awkward buddies. Amazing. And he puts, yeah, he puts his arm around you. Like so, yeah. So biannually, right? Twice, twice annually. Bi biannually. It. it sounds great. Amazing. Can what I if, wait? What if there's no one? What like? What if we don't build like enough by You're then? Right. It's just us. Um, that would be awkward. Okay. Would it though? No, no, we could still do it. I yeah, think it's bi fine. Biannually. Bi Biannually. <laughs> Can I just yell at Will sudden and Snow? You made it worse. <laughs> By this point, Snow's like, she's visibly like getting like red in the face. Not blush. not blushing, like about to cry because she's mm. like in panic mode. Like, I don't know what to do. Hold on. My wife senses her tingling. <laughs> 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 I run over to her. I, I give her a hug. Oh, actually, your your ring does actually channel and you are feeling her emotions. 
Hmm. Are you starting to cry? I'll, I'll cry. I'll, like, Clyde's shed a like looking you in the eye. Are you okay? My wife's senses are tingling. Your eyes are getting puffy, and you run over to Snow. I give her a hug. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. I'll pet your head again. Why okay. are people stupid? It's okay, darling. I'll whisper very, very gently. <clears throat> you somewhat brought this on yourself. It's okay. Shh, 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 shh. I love you. I love you. No homo. Love you. I love you. I love are you, you are more. You wearing, are you wearing socks? What? Are you wearing socks? <laughs> Currently, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, no. Um. So uh, Snow is going to walk away with Zana very quickly. Okay. And feel um, awkward the entire time. Wilson and Clyde kind of meet up, and they're having their own little sidebar conversation. They, You just kind of slide in. Daniel, uh, do you uh, make I, your way with the rest of the group? They're kind of packing up camp and getting ready to head out. Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, unless I'm just going to sit in a circle with Pierre and Wilma for the rest of the day. I mean, you and just guys, be like, you pack that robot sit, with toast. Sit, sit around a campfire with them just playing poker all day. Sounds a pretty successful episode, <laughs> you know? Yeah, gather in other people to play poker with you and get some cash. There you go. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. I, I wish the we could The most rigged do. game of poker ever. Caspian! <laughs> I wish we could do a filler episode Alistair. of just us playing poker. Yeah. Okay, we got everyone. Alistair and Caspian, Snow. Okay. I'm and here. you just see Alistair is on Caspian's head. Mm, my precious boys. They're, they're, he, like, so Caspian's got his crown. Alistair is promptly sitting in the crown with his circlet on his head. Beautiful. Pierre? Yes. Beagle boy. Uh, yeah, of course. What Beagle else boy. would I do? Yeah. Love you. All right. I love all of you equally. Mostly the man who feeds me, but. Uh, I gave you a hat. <laughs> you gave me the hat, so you're all right. Food. I know, it's wonderful. So yes, it works very well. It is nice fresh meat that I drain the blood out of the animals. The only thing I need to do now is get my moisturizer, but I have a pool for that. Mm. <laughs> a pool of blood. Okay. Mm. Go up to the pier. Be good boy. All right. uh, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> the most French kisses you could ever give. Oh, the, the, the cheek kisses. Mm. Yeah, and his like fangs graze either side of your, your cheek <laughs> and like a little bit of stubble. All right, I'll take Snow's hand. Let's get these rings off. Let's get pull divorced. Her, and, like, get up on Snaz, <laughs> Caspian and okay. pull her up on St- Caspian. Oh, and gosh, I guess and there's already too many emotions I'm going, with going around. I'm going with them. Just right. Are either yeah. of you riding um, the horses? Come on, Daniel. There's, sure. Uh, okay, I'll just... I'm going to go get this... Full, what did I get last time? It was like a foldable shield that in turn, yeah. it was turned into a watch or something like that? Or a wristband? Basically. Brand. Okay. Yeah. Go make sure this doesn't, like, cut my arm off or something. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Okay. So you want to go to the black market for Mm-hmm. That would be yeah. the goal. Okay. Wait. And, and wait. I didn't. That's how we get the rings off. I know. I didn't hear that. Did I? Seduce an alchemist, yeah, and then. Oh, I did. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's the. So plan. where are we going again? We gotta go. Um, uh, I'm under my breath. To the black market, because. <gasps> the black market. Okay. No. 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 Yeah. It does not mean everyone there was black. <sighs> that. 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 No. Zana. That. That's bad. Bad thinking. If we remember, if we remember, that is where they found you, technically. Yeah, he's blue. I'm blue. There's you a are blue. I'm but you blue. can get them there if you would like. You were just not singing the blues song. I'm blue. Da ba dee da ba Okay, I thought you were just singing a completely different song. Our guild, I'm blue. No wonder we're a meme guild. That is actually how you were viewed, by the way. What? No. You're just like, yes, that was a few episodes ago. Yeah, you're popular because you're meme and Kawhi. Wait, I know? didn't mean everyone. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> so with all of that going on, you are heading to the black market. Heading? So what? What are you doing? So so here's the plan, right? We need to find this alchemist. All right. So you're coming with us. Yes, I'm coming with you. Are to you gonna su- like walk? Why do we need an he's alchemist? Haku. Oh, he's riding Haku. Yeah, he's riding. Uh, we just need someone who's riding Haku, first. and Daniel's riding Angus. Is Clyde there? Clyde's driving Haku. Oh, okay. Okay. I know the black market better than anyone else here. I can find you someone who can who can take these things off of you. Prompt it, okay? If I'm useful for something, it's that. All right? With my 10,000 Master of Seduction Sense skills. Motive. Sense motive, this man. <laughs> That's, it's, pretty, it's pretty earnest. Okay. He genuinely believes that he can find the man you're looking for. But with that being said, you are somewhat skeptical of his ability. Yeah, just a tad. But he is very confident. Yes. Also, our guild leader asked me to do it, so... That, too? Well, that does not instill any more confidence in me and we're you. We're heading in the black market, so let's just, I guess, go. All right. Shady part of town. Okay. 
Am I the only one who's ever ma- imagined a black market with just like a bunch of street vendors that have like a bunch of shady products, like your liver for sale, two hundred dollars? You want yeah. a sundial? That's exactly Take what a, look a black my way market is. Spread this jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to use that joke, but now I cannot. Aww, <laughs> you can. I could. You can use two jackets. Ah. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, with that being said, he's a walking. Um, market. you guys are down now by the Merchant District. Everyone, please roll a knowledge local check to see if you can gather enough information Ooh. to figure out where it is. Wouldn't that be uh, diplomacy? Nope. 40. No. 40. 19. 32. 40. 40. 40. <laughs> yes. The, he, he is very well versed in the facts of the black market, and so is Zana. So between the two of you, you guys find out that you actually need to go down, going off towards the poor district, but not quite before you get there, by the port. There's an alleyway you need to walk down. All right. Follow me. I know where I'm going. So both Sal and Zana are eagerly trying to push themselves to the front. Like, I'm the leader. Sal I'm the leader. I'm the is leader. riding Haku. Yeah. Uh-huh. And yeah. he is now driving Haku. He's egging Clyde on to get up in front mm-hmm. a- ahead of you and Casper. And Clyde would trust Sal Wait, more than him and me. What? I'm on Haku. You're on Haku? Yeah. Oh, okay. And he's trying to nudge oh Clyde. They could assert tone. Let's go. Let's, all right. Just, we're going. We're going. So you're both making your way down this alleyway, and it looks like like a really long, sketchy, dark alleyway where it makes all of you feel mildly uncomfortable, like there might be tetanus nails down there, like you're not sure. So rusty nails? Mm. Yeah. And broken glass, rusty nails. You smell that? Smells like open home. syringes, all, all kinds of things <laughs> could be down there. Oh, so this is like a workshop, but a, like a really, it's, it smells like home. It reminds me of it's home. a workshop. There, there if everyone in the workshop and there are heroin. like awnings, but they're like dilapidated and torn apart, and it just looks like a really long hallway. Oh look, a needle on the ground! <laughs> Don't touch reminds that. Reminds me could of have... grandma's. Don't touch that. That could have AIDS. Oh, I know, honey. I know. I know. <laughs> Am I crying because she's crying? Do you feel this? I'm not crying. You, nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, you feel a sense of nostalgia and love in her heart when she's there <laughs> in broken glass and rusty syringes. But I'm also syringes. feeling the conflicting emotion of um, disgust and disdain. Yeah, for, uh, it's this mixture and it's really awkward because you have conflicting emotions inside. Zana grew up very ghetto. I'm just, I don't know who I'm riding with, but I'm just sitting there just like, you're riding with I'm me. I'm so confused right so now. You're making your way down this really long alleyway and it looks like a dead end. Keep walking. There's definitely a portal there. Yeah. <laughs> and if there's not, we just hit a wall. Fine. <laughs> oh, so you can. So it's like Harry Potter. So, Magic. It's like believing. So you're walking down this really long alleyway, and as you do, the wall seems to be moving upward. Ooh. Slope. But in reality, you're just sloping down, and you walk completely under the wall. See your portal. You know, the floor couldn't be tilting at all. And then there is just a wooden door with two sconces on either side, a little slit in the door, and a knocker. I got this. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? It's me. Me who? Me, me. (laughs) (laughs) All right, come on in. (laughs) (laughs) That was a good one. I am stunned that worked, but glad it did. Hey, this... the only cost to get into here is a good joke. And that's how black markets work. Come on. Yeah, like the tea time card. Everyone has one. Everyone has to have a good joke to get in. All right. Welcome to the black market. And actually, the what it is, it's an entire market system that is both underground, but under the main river of the town. And there's just a protective bubble that secures... The, the surface of it, and it people can't see down into it, but you can see up into it. Ooh, fancy. Much different. Basically. Much, much different than New York. Wow. I thought you were you're from New York. Okay. Did I say I wasn't from New York? You've never said where you're from. <laughs> oh, I wasn't supposed to tell strangers where I'm from. Are we strangers now, though? Like, I feel like we know each other pretty well. You've slept together. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I kind of just blushes and starts to... No, he doesn't fear away. He's just like, that's right, we did. I'm just stating the facts. I'll just say, that's right, we did. Oh, God. Um, so it's exactly as uh, we all are picturing in our minds. It's everything. There, there's nothing grand. There's nothing like high rise. It's basically just a really large, sprawled out 
just open marketplace with vendors everywhere and a lot of just obviously shady business and illegal goods and contraband. So there's slave auctioning, there's drugs, there's illegal goods, uh, magical items, really shady doctors and everything. Hey, all doorman. Kind of, yeah. Do you know where we can get a curse removed and or sell some cursed items? Um, I don't know about the first part, but uh, second one. Didn't hear it from me. Well, actually, it's the black market. What do I care? Um, <laughs> I don't know your name. Of course, I didn't hear it from you. So, you like Idris Elba. I, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, he he's like a he looks like he's a big, gruff, really tanned, hairy man. Okay. Um, and he has not he has a two handed axe. Just um, and he looks like, like he's Elba. wearing like an executioner's hood, and he does have blood on him. Aww. Um, all right. Aww. <laughs> it reminds me of my uncle Vince. Uh, you're uncle looking Vinny. for. No, Uncle Vinny is way different. I had of Uncle Vinny. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you're looking for Mumble Tea Rat. <laughs> Fair enough. I've heard weirder. Let's go. All right. So what, what, can you direct mumble us? Mumble Tea uh, Rat. Yeah. N- rat. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was Mumble Rap. No. <laughs> <laughs> But like, but like, but like, but like, like oh my gosh, if I just w, mumble, the only, W-R-A-P. Yeah. the only way he speaks is in mumble rap. Feminine, human, and feminine. Oh, Gucci gang. Oh, oh, yeah. No, I not, not at all. Talks. Not at all how he speaks. No, that's not anyway. what he Anyway. All right, you could use it using the West East inside of the town district over that way. And he points and basically just says, go down this really long stretch and he'll be somewhere on your left. You can't miss him. He has a really big he actually has a upstanding building, uh, which is one of the few buildings in the in the place. Alright, thanks man. Wait, is this for selling goods? Trust me. As I assume he might be able to. Trust okay. Me. I I do. My love. Awkward arm pat. Alright, let's go. Toodles, everyone. Alright, so everything just everyone just starts we walking. We might need a witness for the divorce. He, no, he start he start the, the, everyone just starts walking. Ever been said toodles to before? <laughs> he just starts scratching his beard with his ex. That's an odd bunch. Literally. That's really, that's really ah. Okay. Ah. So um, you're you're walking down the street. Everyone, roll a perception check real quick. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Twenty. Twenty-seven. All right. Twenty-four. Um, Fifteen. Daniel, real quick. Uh, how well are all of your wares bolted down? Wares? Yes. Like anything you have on your person. Ah, like they stole my bra. Coin purse. Shield, wrench. How good is your stuff attached to your body? Well, other than my, well, no, no, yeah, all of my daggers are up on my body, and my whip is. I put my whip around my waist like my belt, mm, like a belt. Okay. Yeah. Well, if it's stuff like on my jacket, there'd be like a cl- not a clip, but like a button or something like that mm-hmm. in order to keep it secured. It's like a wrench. It's like two or three straps. Yeah. Um, that are. It's not Velcro. That's too modern um, for this. So uh, <laughs> someone, uh, a couple people approach you because uh, they you look fancier than most people around here. Uh, and you get a couple of people like, you want to buy a liver? And another <laughs> liver. Uh, another couple of individuals are like, like alms for the poor. Like I'm homeless, haven't eaten in three days. Um, Bro, I haven't slept in a bed since I've been in this game. Don't even. So everyone's a- approaching either. them. And uh, Daniel, please make a reflex save. Oh dear. Dice gods be with me. They They're weren't with you. <laughs> um, what was your total? Either the traffic gods. Yeah, give me your, give, give me your total real quick. I don't know. Uh, so eleven. Um, so uh, Daniel feels something tugging on his side. Not sure if it's Wilma for some strange reason. But as you do, you hear a, a like a pop and a click, like, and you turn around to see a scrawny short fellow with sandy gray hair running in the opposite direction with you. Holding what you presume to be your coin purse. It's Wait, sure. he was running in the opposite direction with him? No, with his coin purse. Because the way you said it, it sounded like no, he was running he, with Daniel. <laughs> he came up while you all were distracted with the liver salesman um, <laughs> and snagged his coin purse. And the two people right in front of you also scattered. It's a trap. You know what's hilarious about that is I didn't have any money on me. Oh, that reminds me of my best friend, Daryl. Wait, do you actually not have money? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> So you keep on making your way <laughs> on, right? uh, and eventually you do. You you make your your way to 
the end of the road and you see that there are there's a row of really shabbily done dilapidated wooden houses for the most part um and again they're all underground and one is slightly larger than the others it, and it's like two to three stories high with a cool like tower kind of thing going on that one with like broken windows and everything but it's got like a really like dingy banner that says the magnificent mumbo's magical emporium yep that'll do it and outside uh, the door is wide open and right outside you see a man um not a man you see a five foot six rat with a top hat a blue robe on and he's smoking a cigar and he says, welcome, welcome, come one, come all, to the magnificent Mumbo's Magical Emporium. I look over to Snow. Am I going to have to kiss this guy? I don't no, know. Let, let me handle him. this. I honestly think I have more <laughs> experience with any of these situations than you guys do. I was literally an apprentice to someone like that back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean about three months before I entered in this game. I believe How that. How do you think I got the money for getting this game? <laughs> I stole it. Um, anyway. Daniel, you've statistically lessened your probability for that occurrence, and you've wasted the roll. I'm wah, sorry wah. for you. <laughs> this is why I don't play with dice. It's a dangerous game. He just rolled a 20 without it doing anything. Um, I'm sad. I walk up to the, uh, or I guess... Can't so he's got, yeah, he's got a, a little small crowd around him, but no one's really doing anything. They're just looking at the rat guy. Hey! Hey, how are you doing, doll face? Oh, I'm doing good. I think I have something that's uh, that'll pique your interest. Uh, and he he's kind of he he's, he's literally twirling around his rat tail, and he puts his hand. What can I do you for? No, the question is, what can I do for you? Oh, please come on in. He motions his arms into the building. Are you compatriots coming in? I do have one rule. No horses in. I don't like fecal matter all on the nice floor. Fair game. Yeah, I'm in. So he says, leave your mounts outside. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, and he points to, well, I don't see many of those around there. He's pointing to Wilma. I don't want oil on my floor either. Just leave it outside. Have Wilma guard the horses then. Yeah, that's what I was going to do anyway. Okay. All right. Yeah, we need someone guarding the horses. All right, so you all um, make your way inside. I go over to Sal. I say, give her some, you know, support. Because you do, you, you're good at speaking, man. Wait, Even, wait, are you telling him to support me while I'm talking to the No, no, I'm doing this under my breath to him. Oh. Yeah. Telling him to support if me? If you need it. He's got the highest charisma score. <laughs> I, think, I, think, yeah, I think you're... <laughs> no, yeah, he's still a little higher than you right now. Yeah. So I have a uh, 28. And his diploma, what is it? Your diploma is at a what? Natural. Right, stupid. It's he already like a 30. Yeah, his base is a 30 on a uh, diplomacy. Okay. Um, 30 blocks. So, check. first off, we have this, and I'll place the stone mask down. Oh my, I mean, something I see every day. I've got a dozen of them in the back. What do you want from me? No, no, you really don't. Do you know what this is? Of course, it's an ancient cursed artifact. Whoa, what do you think I deal with? It's not just any ancient cursed artifact. It's the ancient cursed artifact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the first time I had an ancient cursed artifact. Oh, I have oh, like seven. Oh, sweet, sweet ancient cursed <laughs> artifacts. I had like seven of them. But this one, this one. I can throw it in the bucket with all the rest. What do you take me for? A fool? Also. Like, look around, peruse the shelves. You're going to find a dozen. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. Um... Yo. I'll put, uh, take Snow's hand, put uh. our hands up on the table. Um, ah. do, you see, ah. do you see these ah. rings? He put, he pulls out a little monocle and he takes a draw of his cigar, kind of blows it in collectively everyone's face. Mm. And he pulls out a monocle and a What is this, Oliver and Company? I guess so. The rat from the... They're close. All right. Different movie. Thinking along the same way. All right. Uh, yeah, no, that one's a doozy. Oh, so you can't get it off? Oh, I never said that, doll. I can do anything. I'm the magnificent Mr. Mumbo, after all. I can take you into the back room and we can see what we can do for you. And he motions to a doorway with a shabby black torn curtain. Over Dude, there. I'm yeah. sense motiving that. I don't trust that. Yeah, no. Um, um sense mo- And mine's a t- 27. He's... 26. 23. Very honest that he believes he can get it off of you. I don't trust the means. Whether you can... may be shanked and robbed upon entry of said facility is questionable. 
Hey, Snow, hmm? I don't want you to worry. I've been in situations far worse than this with people far more intelligent. So, can I detect magic in the shop? Everything is magic. Um, it's a magic emporium. Yes. I'm going to detect magic Please anyway. Detect magic. magic. It goes off. Yep. Um, there is a lot of magic, and there's also a surprising lack of magic. As you can see, that not every item on the shelf is clearly magical. Like um, I thought. Some are more so than others, and there is a specifically strong aura emanating from behind you in a barrel. Before before they go into the back, I stop him. I go over to the barrel. I'm not going to the back yet. Okay. okay. But yeah, okay, before, before we they go back. over Sorry. to the back, Excuse I stop. Excuse my girlfriend. I stop Ratman. Mm-hmm. I want Mumbo, and I, and I say, "Listen to me." I promise you, this is the rarest ring you will ever find. And I'm bluffing while I'm doing this. Okay, sure, go for it. Roll your bluff. 48. (laughs) (laughs) All right, and listen, I'm promising you, I'm Prince Kale's long-lost stepson. He must have a high as crap sense motive on you. What's your sense motive, Jack? Uh, (laughs) 29. Uh, Yeah, you could tell he's obviously lying. Yeah. (laughs) But that was his response to you. He's like, I deal with magic rings all the time. What's so fancy about yours? Yeah, speaking of magic rings, Snow, what are you doing by that barrel? Just, just I'll be there in a second. Using diplomacy mm-hmm. here? Let me tell you something, right? This is the black market, okay? You find all sorts of people in here, but what is the one thing that everyone has in common? They're all a bunch of trash. Um, uh, they're not no, because the you don't seem time. like a trash person. He's a rat. Right? I, you, yeah. seem, you might eat it, but... Wow, what do you take me for, average sewer rat? We might be in a sewer, and I may be a rat, but I take great offense to this. I am a sophisticated individual. everyone here has the capacity of love, (sighs) and this ring is the perfect love object, suitable for the perfect couple. And if you get this off them, you could sell this for so much. Wait, are you talking about our rings? Yes. Oh, Oh, I'm well aware, but it's not how cursed objects work. If I was going to remove the curse from them, it would virtually destroy the object. Yeah, we're okay with that. Yeah. It would be almost irreparable. I would need some great magical sorcerer who could Don't. almost cast an equivalent we're spell. We're fine. We it. just need it off. We're going to the gladiator so battles afterwards. Here? Do you, do you want to take it off or not? Yeah, obviously, but I'm going to ask for a surcharge to, for my services. Oh, okay. Obvi- we could also bargain, since clearly you said you had a number of artifacts, which could intrigue yeah. me. What okay. about the stone? All right, so let her do her thing with the barrel. Yeah, I'm going to look in the barrel. Okay. It's kind of like around the corner of the door you walked in. It's a barrel of generic random Fish. swords. No. Swords. <laughs> Um, And the sign on it says clearance. And there are a lot of chipped and rusty swords in there. Which one am I detecting the magic from? Perception check. Mm. Yeah, my perception. That's a 29. Great. You can see amidst all of these chipped and rusty swords, there is one that is equally as shabby. Seems cracked, broken, chipped in a couple of various locations. It's made of solid black steel, however. It looks kind of like a katana make uh, and has a, uh, just like, it looks like bandages or a black strap around the hilt and whatnot. Bon guy. <laughs> but it's, it, it, visually it seems broken. It seems still emanating a very strong magical aura and still seems very powerful and intriguing as to why it is in the clearance bit. What'd you get there, Snow? <gasps> I pulled out. Ooh, a black blade? I haven't pulled it out yet, but uh-huh. yeah. You said you pulled it out. I'm getting ready to. So as she's drawing it out. Ooh, a black blade. (laughs) And you're kind of like self-conscious. Like, why are you looking at me? I'm just like, um, how much for this? Um. It's in clearance. He he, uh, gets a little nervous and sweaty. Uh, if you, uh, trade me some of your objects for uh, my services, I'll I'll throw it in for free. Ah, kill. Let's take it. All right. Can it's we in go? clearance, I mean. Snow, can we please go do yeah, what yeah, we yeah. came here to do? Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Mumbo, kay. let's do the procedure. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Uh, I mean, before I do any service, Payment. I like to see you uh, at least put it on the table for me. The stone mask. 
That's it. Sir, you have a praise. Appraise this item. I'm well aware I have a praise. I, Wait, I appraise the item. Incredibly knowledgeable. Okay, what's your. <laughs> Nope, Is it a that's one? A fan. Yeah. Uh, oh. You actually do perceive this. You're like, what? The kid gave me junk. It seems almost worthless. You're like, it's a like banded mass. Like, what am I? I know it does something. You, you the kid told well, oh, you it did wait. something. The beautiful dagger. You're gonna give up your dagger? Well, I have other daggers, and that one's cursed. I thought you liked your cursed dagger. I have other daggers, and that one's cursed, that, and I like my whip. Actually, okay. Um, beautiful dagger. Throw this beauty in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even right. if it wasn't magical, which it is, it's still a hella looking fine dagger. All right, fine, fine, fine. Look, good. Uh, those two and the procedure and the sword is it fair trade? Uh, um, sure, we'll go with that. Um, does anyone else? You guys can also peruse around, see if you have anything else you like. I don't know if you have any other artifacts on you. We can maybe sweeten the pot for both people. What do you I have? Uh, a, uh, I have a bounce back ring, but I kind of like it. He, he asks, uh, "You mind if I uh, take a look at that right there?" Yeah, sure. Probably. Okay, he pulls out his monocle, takes a glance. Yeah, <laughs> ah, you can keep it. I love it. All right, I'm glad all you, right. you all enjoy that one greatly. So, can everybody I... else, can we please get done what we need to do here? Yeah, you can... the transaction's completing. I put the sword in my inventory. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I also have three earrings on me, and I don't know what they do. Let's get the rings so, off first. So, you, he takes you into this back room, right? Like right this way, ladies. Perception check the back room. Yeah. Can I go in the mm. back room? I was like, uh, no. I'm gonna he, be looking he, in. Oh uh, wow, seventeen. But all right. So he leads you through the uh, curtain draped doorway. He pushes. You push that aside. You you go into this black back room. And uh, a heavy wooden door shuts behind you guys. Before it closes, I look back at Wilson kind of concerned, but also like, ah, okay. Don't worry, it's just standard procedure. So he um, motions over to, it's a relatively small room with various barrels and everything. I, a really, it's like a rusty lamps kind of swing, like just a bulb is swinging back and forth. Right above a really solid wooden table in there, uh, couple of chairs that are around and he pulls up two chairs right this way this looks exactly like jo uncle jim said this is insane i saw this in dead or alive once all right it's everyone take alive. a seat and he pulls once. out uh, a hammer and chisel yep uh you know why didn't we think of that we could have broken them all right take a seat we're taking a seat i mean really i only need one of you to do it but then the magical the curse will be broken afterwards does anyone prefer you like the ring on, uh, you can I'll never take it. the ring off but if you if you like it, that's not a problem. Because once I break one, the link's broken, and it just becomes a regular ring that's irremovable. Sure, I'll I'll let him do it to my All hand. All right, great. So you hold out your hand, and he puts the chisel on the ring, taps with his little hammer, and as he does, you can see cracks start to form, and light starts to emanate from the cracks. And after the the fourth or fifth hit, the the whole ring just kind of shatters, falls on the ground, and all. Sweet freedom all of the light that was emanating from the ring slowly starts to fade away as it just becomes a regular broken metal object yeah i'll keep mine on no right it looks kind of cool right i mean it's a, a certain people's taste I, I don't mind it and he flashes that he has a lot of jewelry on himself mm. man you really reminded me of my uncle jim ah he sounds like a quality guy if he's got a, a, a is this a player pound. character or an end? Uh, roll the check. It would just be able to see his player icon. Yeah, but some people like to hide those things. Uh, so that would be perception, because <laughs> yeah. if it was, it was uh, 24. Okay. He seems like an NPC. Mm, okay. All right, like I said, you're free to roam around the cabin or the Emporium if I do save so myself. I've got a litany of wonderful things for you all to explore. Can I run out the door. Sweet marital freedom. Yeah, let's go. Can I show him the... Band, I'm out of the back room. The thing I have that turns into a shield mm -hmm. so he can just check over it. Yeah. You want to do that at the black market instead of the regular market? The black market where they could steal it from you instead of the regular market where they would just actually tell you what it's worth? So I look at her and I say, well, um... Just so you know, based upon like the way the society works, if you present a cursed item to them, they're probably gonna like try and burn you with the stake. Yeah, doll face. There's a reason why I'm underground doing my business, and it's not because I like the smell. Fair enough, but you do like the smell, don't you? 
So that's not the only reason why yeah, I'm down I know. here. Okay, so can you check my earrings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can appraise everything you've got. Whatever. It's a mild surcharge of like 20 golden object. That way I can rebuy the cigars it takes me. Yeah, <laughs> no. Hey, Snow, let's go. I'm going to peruse for a second while they peruse? while they do their Okay. I'll thing. wait outside. Okay. You're waiting outside by the horses and everything. And you can actually see uh, Clyde, and, uh, Clyde is out there as well, tending to Haku and whatnot. Can I get on Caspian and when, and when I'm tall enough, I'll just pet Clyde's head yep. while we're waiting? Yep. Who's he boy? So, yeah, you're on Caspian petting Clyde. Clyde is on the ground petting Haku, and your bird's kind of on your head poking your forehead. Mm, ow, 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 Gently, ow. like loving. Do you kisses? Mm -hmm. Okay. Over and over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, like the woodpecker. water thing. The, yeah, exactly. The, the thing that dips in the water. Uh, so, what are you looking at? Anything specific you're looking around for? A compass. Compass. I'm looking for a compass. Uh, you roll for it. Uh, 16 for perception. You don't find a compass, but what you do find is a uh, is you find a, another necklace. You're, you're looking around all these odd ends and bobs and bits and it, it strikes you as interesting because it looks kind of similar to yours like a thin chain and a little like capsule and inside the cap well, the, the, it's like a metal framework it's a glass little bulb but inside this one instead of a white light there's a blue flame okay um get back to me and yeah the boys you uh you're trying to get your objects appraised and whatnot and trying to figure out their capabilities. Yeah. All right, well, uh, show me the coin and I'll tell you the cost of the object. How much coin? 25 golden objects. All right, here you go. Okay, so you give him 25 to Daniel. has no money. I'll pay you back later, Sal. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He's just he's just poor thing. Come on. Like, we just give him a discount or something? Yeah. I'll give him a discount. It's 20 gold instead of 25. Who's paying? Diplomacy. I walk sure. over. I have a better idea, and I whisper in your ear. I say, um, if we're going to go to the Coliseum, why don't we offer him some of our winnings? Uh, I'll give you an op. Or he could bet on us, yeah. I'll give you a better offer. Offer the bet. Offer the I'll bet. let you in on an inside secret, all right? Using sure, diplomacy. go for it. All right? We're Another all going to the Coliseum to fight. Good for you, so you want to die today. we are one of the strongest people. In fact, we have proof that we are incredibly strong and we've beaten all of our adversaries, really? including some of the strongest people who have ever fought in the thing. Oh, wait a minute. I so recognize no, you guys. <laughs> Weren't you the idiots who jumped into the ring and ruined the prize fight between Miata and Akula? Correct, but we killed Akula. What do you mean? Akula what? won no. that bout. What are you on about? He, had, he was almost... Fighting all of you at once, and you barely put a dent in him. <clears throat> We're gonna <clears throat> maybe fight a cooler <clears throat> soon. We're gonna fight a cooler soon. Really? All right. How about this? How about this? You bet on us. I promise you, we're gonna win. You get your prize. That's that's. Please listen, Dollface. <laughs> I'll oh, give you. Dollface. I'll give you my the rest of my services for you two for free on the condition. That when you lose to Akula, you give me three times whatever I bet on the situation. Gotcha. I was thinking of wagering uh, 500 gold. Fair. That's fair. But what if we win? What do you... Uh, As we're, we're comparing 50 gold to 500 gold. I mean, that's 10 times. That's not three times. Right, but I'm giving you free, my free service. You said you were so confident, so it shouldn't be an issue now, is it? What is this... Can this I, is dumb. <laughs> what is this we shtick, Sal? You're not going to go in there. You're going to die right away. You'll just... I have this ring, girl. No, I'm not dying. He has this ring, girl. I have this mm -hmm. ring. That's that literally, I can't take damage What here. time of day is it? Okay. It's, it's the morning. Yeah, it's just morning right okay. now. Okay. I'm good. If a cool attacks me, there's a pretty high chance, or pretty, there's a significant chance that the ring could just do all the damage back to him. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> prior percentage. Like I yeah. said. What's the problem? I mean, if you win, I'm already betting the money on a cool anyways. You'll get the 500 gold from me. Gotcha. And okay, deal, I give you deal. my free services. Let's do it. All right. Shake on it. He, he shakes his hand. Slimy <laughs> hand. Right there. All right. Well, let's finish the business then. So he um walks over to Daniel's character. Uh, did you want him to just show the shield or also the hammer you have? Oh, yeah. I did get a hammer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll show them both. All right. 
Um, let's see. Both of them are fickle mistresses. That's all I can say. There's nothing really all that special about them. They perform as supposedly functioned, except at certain times your shield just might not work. It's hard to really repair that, even from a mechanical standpoint. The mechanics are fine. It's the magic entrapped inside of it. Again, I could break that for you for the surcharge. You just trade me something in return or pay me. It is what it is. Where is the hammer? That's a really interesting one. Um, it... It increases its its weight or decreases its weight depending on the situation. Uh, right now, it looks like it's incredibly lightweight, which means it's probably not going to do that much damage. When it gets to be a lot heavier, it's going to be incredibly unwieldy, but it's going to hit like a truck if you do manage to land with it. Uh, again, it's it's like a coin flip on which effect you're going to get, though. There's not much I can do about it. That's fine. That's really helpful to know about the shield, though. All right, uh, your earring, dude. I like the piercings; they're really nice. Um, I did them. You did them yourself. A shout from outside. Yeah, she's very impressive. Uh, I, I like it. It's this is a good style, and uh-huh. you can see that on his ears. He's got uh, yeah. little earrings. I like he's your style too. Really, good. he's he's got a nose ring and everything too. Yeah. Um. Um. Not much can be said about them. They, uh, it, what they seem to do is they seem to have a polymorph effect attached to them. Okay. So. Ooh. Uh, I don't know what the trigger effect is. These things are really hard to determine. Polymorph is in, like... You're going to change shape into some creature. Oh, that's fun. Um, <laughs> I don't... Like I said, he could be a flat I fish. don't know what the triggering effect is. Or but by dab. the number of earrings, flat fish. each one seems to hold a charge. So it looks as if it's a consumption tide effect. So if you eat certain things or ingest certain things, it may trigger it. And you have up to three uses of this. Total. Total. Oh, okay. So uh, after duration, what, ha- what what happens after the duration of the effect? Completely unknown. No. Wait. What what happens after? Uh, no. The, the issue is is if you use one of those, and let's say you eat a rat's hair, you might be a rat for the rest of your life. Okay. Get these off me now. <laughs> All right. All Can right. you just eat the hair of Samson? You could. Uh, is this like your pet dog? Like, what are we, uh, what is this guy? I'm, I'm not. Is he a guy? Is he a, is he a monkey? Is he a pet chimpanzee orangutan? What are we? He's what? a dude. He's really big. I mean, all that. You're already of the same, um, species, so I don't think it would really have nope. much of an effect. I'm dying. Well, okay, then you'd transform into a human temporarily. Okay, can I have the. Uh, for, an unno- for an undisclosed amount of time. Okay. All right, can it's get, just a polymorph get... effect, so it could probably be undone by a similarly strong polymorph effect. Gotcha. I keep mine. Just what be careful ring? what you eat. Is the ring what I think it is? is the bounce back ring? Uh, that ring is an incredibly special ring, and I would keep it close to you. Gotcha. All, All right. right. Are we ready to go, gang? Just give me one second. I'm almost done, okay? Okay, darling. Thanks, love. We got closer as a couple. So, <laughs> as you get closer to this necklace... The blue flame glows brighter, and your white light also glows brighter. Weird. The I closer go... you get, the brighter it gets. Okay. Like it's beckoning towards you. Okay, I go to take the necklace. Yep. And I pick it up. Mm-hmm. What is it? it? Feels like a necklace. Uh, uh, Mr. Mumbo. 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 Mr. Mumbo. Yes. Um, uh, what? What? What is this? Oh. I, I see it's a necklace, but. It's an ancient artifact. Uh, the only thing I can tell is it vaguely detects magic. That's the only thing I've been able to get out of it thus far. It detects magic? Yeah, it glows real bright when there's a strong magical aura present. Certain auras it reacts to more heavily, as you can see, much like your necklace. They seem to be sensing each other and feeding off each other's energy. Interesting. So that So yours will sense darkness or whatever, and that one will sense light. Or various other strong auras of various kinds of magics. Okay. All right. How much is this? Uh, Two hundred gold. <laughs> Tears. Oh wait, no, I do have money. <laughs> I thought I was poor. I am poor. But that's not the point. Two hundred. Yeah. Barter. How about we make a bargain? All right. What kind of bargain are we talking about? Um. Look, I know you're in the black market business. Yeah. But uh, 
I have my body. Now, hold on, hold on. I know that sounds wrong. I can take that for an evening. There's so many no, no, things no, no, no. I could have. Um, no, no, no. That, that's not what Plenty I meant. Plenty of eligible young bachelors willing to pay that price. You walked into it. I Wilson said. included. I, yeah, how does Wilson feel about that statement? He's holding himself back. Okay. Uh, no, but no, he no. looks like he wants to throttle the rat and pummel him into the ground. Um, is he standing next to me? Or yes. Is, okay. He's getting very huffy and puffy right behind you. Okay. I put my hand like kind of on his, mm-hmm. like on, calm down. Yep. And I'm just like, no, 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 no. Um, I really work well as a walking advertising board. So I can see that you got a nice boar's hat on. You got no, a little I back- took that off by the way. I haven't Did had that on. I haven't no. had that on for a while. You're going to get angry letters. He hasn't. I'm not on the same floor anymore. I it took doesn't that matter. You're going to get angry letters because okay. you're not wearing them. You're not going to get the discount next time you go back because you haven't been advertising. Okay. Well, he doesn't know that. Yes, he does. Oh, that's awkward. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I could be an excellent walking advertisement for the black market. Yeah, because I want because I want the police to know where I live. That's a great idea. Okay. Fine. Um. Oh God. What do I have? What do Gold, I? Gold. The universal language. Okay. Hold on. It's an Asian artifact. Yeah, I'll come. Um, I'll come back in. I'll be right back, Clyde. Yeah, sure. Um. Uh, yeah. Snow. I just snow. Yes. Do you really want that? Yeah. But I don't want to spend two hundred bucks. It's the Jew in me. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, I am Jewish. <laughs> Alistair, come here. Yeah. And he flies over. I take the flower crown. That does. That does, does that have any magic in it? No. <laughs> but she's gonna. It's a flower crown. Yeah. They're very popular. <laughs> Okay, go for oh, it. Oh, Hint, we need you. For if you give the, if knock off a hundred, I'll give you the flower crown. You can easily sell this flower crown for 200 to any white girl go you see. Go bluff your <laughs> Say it's from legit. <laughs> say mm. it's from. Stop. Say it's from Coachella mm. and they will eat it up. You could probably sell it for 500 but gold. But it's from wait, wait, wait. Coachella. And it was worn by a Princess Kali. It was worn by a Princess Kali. Mm-hmm. Was it? It was worn by Princess Kali. Was it? Who? It was worn by Princess Kali. Well, you seem to be a fan guys, of certain guys, artifacts. Just Everyone roll their diplomacy as a group. <laughs> well, not you, Daniel. You didn't say a thing. Uh, I can take my six. 35. As a I rolled a five. It's I still know. 35. Uh, yeah. 19. Diplomacy. Yeah. 19, 35. 35. <laughs> Uh, twenty-two. Okay. I'm I'm just telling him how it is. Legitimately, uh, if you tell a white girl that this came from Coachella, and how many white girls do I see down here? I mean, honestly, currently but, two. Uh, current, and yeah, that's just this morning. Right, the first ones I've seen in a week. Uh, all right. Really? Wow. All right. I mean, I sad. see a little bit more on the side, but that's besides. It doesn't that. even matter if it's a white girl. Tell a whatever snipe you want to that it'll make his girlfriend happy it will make his girlfriend happy so you're not lying and you don't right. have to bluff well, listen listen i could cut off 50 gold at best for your little flower crown it is very ornately made i like this the poshness and the style does it look well on you i put the flower not my fetish <laughs> <laughs> um so he's giving you a 50 gold discount as of right now fine i'll give him the 150 okay and you now have... Are you wearing this? Can I wear it? We can wear matching necklaces. Yours one starts as light and mine starts as dark. I have oh. no idea what this does yet. Exactly. I'm a good kid. I don't pick. know if it's going to mess up what I have on. I want to so. wear matching necklaces because we're no longer wearing matching rings. I don't... No. No, we're not a couple anymore. Besides, I have other things I need to wear for... We other th- are a couple of friends. A couple of individuals. A couple of besties. Bonded by the soul. <laughs> Not anymore. Bonded. What am I doing? I can't I don't do know. math. What are, you, what are you doing with the um, uh, necklace um, then? Are you just putting it in your inventory for now? Are you wearing it? What happens when I put it on? The necklaces get confused. Dish, both are glowing very brightly. Next I, put it in the nec- I put it in my inventory for now. I'll figure okay. out what this does later. Okay. All right. You love me, though. I gave up the flower crown. Um, everyone, you're all walking around the black market. People are trying to sell you people. No, arms, I, I'm, I'm, go- I'm, I'm leaving the black market. Let's let's go, Snow. All right. aye, aye, Is Mom everyone Capitone. else in accordance, or did anyone else want to pick up anything? No, I'm just gonna leave. Everything's good. Okay. I uh, um, I'm gonna need a uh, need a note card or something to write down your sword on. Yep. Because you have. Ten- wait. 
technically, since I'm the one who is the only one that contributed <laughs> anything, isn't that my sword? What? He well, threw it in for free. He threw it in for free. No, he gave I, it to her. Oh, I because I. She said, "I'm interested in this sword." He, she asked how much. He said, "I'll throw it in with the ordeal." Yeah, and I'm the one who paid for the old ordeal. Okay, he she he threw it in for free. It's okay. whoever the sword picked it up. Okay, I have a plan for that sword. You if, do. If do you yeah. even know what the sword does, give us I a second. I know what it is. It is black iron. Oh, like, you know, black, what did you say? What what kind of metal? Mm, it just looks like black steel to you. Like black steel. Folded black steel. Yeah. I know a blacksmith. Melt it down, make it into a black crown. Um, I don't... Why a uh, crown? Because, say, say this sword has some sort of effect on it. It's a magically enchanted item. But, right. okay, but destroying an item, melting it, if Tiffany might not be able to melt it down and not destroy the magic effect on it. I am confident in Tiffany's abilities. I just talked to the man, and we are exchanged words and, and memes. You asked for memes, the best yeah. note of trustworthiness. This is your katana. It functions as a uh, two-handed weapon. It will be treated as a long sword for the sakes of stats and proficiencies. If you wanted to get like weapon focus in it, it would be weapon focus in long sword. You could also get the keen feet, which could apply to that weapon as well. But it's broken. Yes. It, so it seems needs to be broken. Fit, probably. It seems broken. All right, well, we all getting out of this. Uh, by black the way, line? were you ever holding um, beer? The no, your sword and your necklace at the same time. I mean, it, my sword is in my hand, basically, like at my side. Right. So yeah. So you were holding it. The, the necklace also grew brightly when it was near the sword. Which necklace? Which oh, the neck, the sword that I was holding. The yes, katana? the black, the black katana and the black necklace. The necklace grew. The blue flame inside grew really bright. Okay. Much like it did when it was near your necklace. It's sting. It glow. No, I'm kidding now. Um, cool sword. Cool sword. Okay. Interesting. Holds it near Zana. E e e does she glow? Does it glow near her? The does sword? it glow near her? No, not the sword. The necklace. The necklace? Yes. <laughs> it does get brighter. Oh, that's because I'm just so light and positive. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> just moving it back absolutely and forth. luminous. It, it glows near um, everyone. Interesting. Basically. We're all you, luminous. If you hold it towards her torso, it gets dimmer. But if you hold it towards her head or her waist. Where the crown is and the dagger. Her head and her waist. Her whip, yes. Her whip. Um, and if right, you hold it dagger. near Daniel's left arm, is it? Where are you carrying your extendo shield? Yes. Left arm. <laughs> put it near Daniel's left arm, it glows. If you put it near Sal's ear or his ring hand, then it also glows. Okay. All right. All right. Are we getting out of this place or what? Yeah. Yes, please. All right, the everyone dips. We head towards the Coliseum. Mm -hmm. We're going towards the Coliseum, guys. Are you ready? Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for staying tuned. We really appreciate you guys listening. So you can find us on social media at Instagram or Twitter at RollFound. You can check out our website, MissingRollPlayerFound.com. There are a number of other ways that you guys can interact with us because that's our favorite thing to do is get in touch and keep in contact with you, the lovely viewers. Um, you can submit any questions you have. Like I said, you can just throw us questions at social media. Me and uh, Snow, uh, we peruse the, the Twitter page literally daily and we always try and interact with some of our, our really big fans. Um, we've got one fan, Justin, who lives in Montana and we also have another, another fan, Anthony, and we're always going constant back and forth and we're also a big part of a big community and we love interacting with you guys so if you have any questions you can hit us up at social media or you can go to bit.ly forward slash ask mrpf and that is where you can submit any question and we'll actually answer it live on our show during our mid-roll well i get live for us not for you guys you'll listen to it on the podcast but you'll, you'll be able to hear your question probably featured in the next episode um if you get to us soon enough um and if you wanted to support us and help our growing numbers, besides just sharing it with everyone and anyone and your grandma, um, that's who I share mine with. Not yet, but I plan on it. And you should too. Uh, but if you just wanted to support us in other ways, besides sharing it with your friends and everyone, you can support us directly via bit.ly forward slash support MRPF. And that'll take you directly to our Patreon. And we've got a lot of goodies, which um, we really want to give away. So if you just want to support us with, by a little bit you can go there or if you wanted some 
direct sweet goodies, uh, you can check out our affiliate Dice Envy, who we've been partnered with for a little bit now. And if you check out the link in the description and you follow that link, it'll take you to a Dice Envy page and that'll give us a little bit of the proceeds, which is a wonderful way that you can help us out as the podcast. But like I said, the most important thing that we want you to do is just share it with everyone and anyone because we're almost at that milestone of a thousand downloads and that's all thanks to you guys. So share it with your friends, with your parents, with your grandparents, um, with your second cat once removed, um, any uh, turtles you may know. Uh, we, we just really want everyone and anyone to hear about it and we just want to get it out there to all of you because you are so wonderful. So thank you all for listening and let's get back to uh, the Coliseum Massacre. Welcome back to um, the midday. So you're, you're all headed now towards the Coliseum. So it's uh, midday. The sun's about high noon. Uh, no, McCree will not come out and shoot you in the face with a pistol. <laughs> um, but you are all headed to the Coliseum and you see uh, a different vendor from last time. You see a uh, perky woman behind the counter. Mm. A perky. Perky. Good to know. Right up to her. Snow, you're riding with me, right? Yeah. All right. Where's Wilson? I don't know. Wilson Ryan didn't invite me, us? so I'm rhyme with her. Yep. I'll I'll go up to the perky. Uh, lady. I'm I'm already ended up there. We okay. can all go. Everyone's headed up there. And, and, and we he says, Howdy doody, folks. How you doing? Oh, howdy How? doody. How are you? Well, hello you. <laughs> I'm gonna grab Sal. Put duct tape just, over his mouth. Hello. Excellent idea. Okay, I'm roll just gonna you. Roll, what are you? Oh, are you attempting to your three thousand master level three thousand? Yes. And then roll diplomacy. Forty. <laughs> well, how are you doing? Aren't you just a large stack of pancakes? Oh, I'm more than a large stack of pancakes. And if I'm a large stack of pancakes, then I've found my syrup right in front of me. I'm ah! gonna. Oh, ah! gosh. I'm gonna have Caspian knock him over to the side. You were knocked over by a horse. Um, hello, ma'am. We'd like to sign up. All right, so what are you in the mood for? We've got a couple of different challengers waiting. Um, I, anyone can join as long as you just sign this here uh, flyer. Mm-hmm. This, this waiver, if you would. <laughs> you will die. <laughs> Where? Where's Wilson? Uh, Wilson is right behind you. More Wilson, you're going to be with me in snow. Uh, okay, sounds good. Uh, I mean, do, what are we signing up for? No, are we doing this? Uh, well, uh, we actually have a couple of uh, different events going on today. Now, you can... Um, you can buy some just low-level thugs, basically a public execution. Uh, but uh, mo- most people, you, you draw a decent crowd, about a dozen folks who just like to see the blood massacre, much like myself. Um, but then there's also um, some rather larger games, which happen in the evenings. There's uh, dire lion fights where you can wrestle lions barehanded to the ground. No, That's I've been there, fun. done that. There are a couple of one-on-one fights where uh, you pull up a list and we pull up a list and we match an even number of combatants all together and they just fight to the death and that's always good what about a cooler oh well now there are a couple different ways of fighting that man uh he is uh, a rather confident fellow so he's currently issuing two challenges uh one challenge the specific one where it's a one-on-one fight you've got to be personally invited by him or prove your prowess to the game master of the arena uh but the other one is he's just letting any random three schmucks step up to him so you guys could vo- volunteer for that if you want to die what if we beat him though Oh, well, there's most certainly prize money in that. Uh, there, there's a rather large bounty of around uh, 10,000 gold if you beat them. If we beat the champion, do we become the champion? Uh, no, that's where you have to be invited. But once you do beat him as a collective, each one of you three individuals would be invited to re-challenge him in about a week's time. And we'll make a big grand challenging arena. And it'll, we'll charge a nice pretty penny. All right. Sounds Only pe- like you saw it last time happen with that one Miata folk who came in and he lost. Well, he only <laughs> lost because something happened in the middle of the yeah, ring. Oh, he got yeah. stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> that would that, be that'll, a thing. That'll do it. <laughs> that will. Mm. Yeah. All right. So you said a three match against him? Yeah, it'll be a 3v1, and uh, that'll happen uh, sometime this evening around like seven. Hey, Wilson, you up for a 3v1 on that weird man, Akula? Like Wilson just kind of shrugs, and like literally as he shrugs, like all of the bones in his body crack, basically. Is Wilson wearing the necklace again? Nope. You guys should take healer. We can only have three people. Exactly. So, so who's the third? I'm ready to crush the man. Wilson, me, and Snow. Let's swap Daniel out with with Snow, potentially. No. No. 
Okay. All right. Their plan is just to brute force his brute force. Okay. All right. That would probably be the best option. I'm just um, saying strategically. All like, right. So I guess we're signing up to fight Akula. I have all right. Here are your waivers. Cool. Um, uh, and it, it says, uh, warning, potential of death is decided by crowd. Nice. Is it your fetish? <laughs> mm, like Does that. everyone sign the waiver? Wait, do I read it first? Yeah. Oh, you should let you read it. That's right. It enlists um, the prize money, which will be gained. The fact that you will be able to, uh, you'll be invited to challenge him um, in a week's time, if you would like. Uh, it also says that uh, you're open to having like your name shared and publicized by the Coliseum for revenue benefits as they sell tickets to for attendance. And then it also has a, a very explicit warning in big red font saying, potential of death, fate will be decided by masses. Nice. Um, but and but it does say a uh, final statement is decided by combatants. Okay, so mm-hmm. so if all of the people say kill them, but the combatants decide not to, their life is spared. Okay, so I'm gonna tell her to snow and be like, I'm on betting duty. Just letting you. Know. Uh, uh, no, no, I'm gonna recommend that you guys take the chance to also gain money and fight something as well. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sure. Right. I would like we'll some money. We'll put you on betting duty again, Sal. Sure. Yeah. Well, great we can, idea. We can still put money in through bets. It's okay. Just, so obviously. could we just take a different challenger? Yep. Me, me, Snow, me, me, uh, Daniel, and Clyde. Yep. You could. Um. So there is still the uh, dire lion fight, which specifies that you are allowed only one weapon per person. Other than that, you don't get much anything else. Or you can take the all gear. Um. One person per challenger uh, test where they will match you up against, in this instance, a similar sized group of three individuals to fight you. What do you, what do you think, Daniel? Oh. What do you think? I am not fighting a lion, that's for sure. <laughs> Don't worry. It's only 15 feet tall, 13,000 pound lion. Do, uh, do familiars count as, as people? Nah, fam. <laughs> <laughs> do familiars, no, okay, nope. familiars can go with us? Uh, so really, yes. it'd be four people for us. Yeah, because you would have Wilma. And that is legal because I said all gear is in the person-on-person fight. Okay, Wilma would yeah, not let's be allowed do, let's in the, do the lion three person bout unless thing. Daniel decided to leave his weapons behind hey, and only do, bring Wilma. Let's do the three-person. The <laughs> Launch bread at lions. They eat the toast. Why f- not? Become friends with Challenger. Win? You could. You could That's do. a terrible idea. All right, so you select the um, three-on-three fight? Yeah, we could do that. Okay, cool. I just need to roll... To see uh, which ones you're up against. <clears throat> so I'm guessing our fight's in the evening, you said? Mm-hmm. 7 o'clock, yes, yeah. 7 p.m. Uh, what time do we need to be here? Uh, roughly around uh, 6, 6.30. We normally like to start preparations. Oh, so we have some time to... We should gear, like, potions gear up. Yeah, apparently potions are allowed. Uh, yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, everything's allowed. Oh, everything? You poison, sedatives... Explosives. I don't care. Cool. We should go visit an alchemist. Lace your daggers with um, poison. Poison. Actually, paralyzed effect. Uh, paralyzing effect would be great. Yeah. All right. Well, see you folks later. Everyone signed their waivers. Can you turn them in right here? Oh, I'll pass them over. Oh, I'm going southern now. Whoops. <laughs> Look at you. I'll be rooting for you, Clyde boy. Oh, thanks. Well, uh, we'll be cheering you on, too. Oh. Well, I'll keep I mean, safe well, not you. cheering you on because we'll also be in the middle of a death match, but we'll be uh, is there's a, there is, in spirit. Wait, are they? Just don't they're get not going on at the same time, they're not, are they? They're yeah, not. they are. Oh, they are. How? What do you mean? Is there more than one arena? Yeah, there's the big one, and they're offshoots of like little tiny pits. Oh. I message Gladys. Yeah. She's like, hey, you want to see something cool? You want to see me show off my prowess? Oh my <laughs> gosh! What's going on? Are we going to like a? Are we going clubbing or something? After this fight, which I guarantee you I will win. Oh, there's for, a fight? Are and you I'm gonna, like in a boss scuffle or something? Yeah, and, and you know what? After the fight, which I'm totally going to win. Well, where's the fight? And I, and Are you okay? It's at Are the Gladiator Arena. Oh, okay. I'm fighting to, to the one yeah, of those. I'm fighting to the death with a group oh, of three well, people. Um, okay, but after, and, I, and I'm telling you what, I'm doing it all for you. Oh, thanks. Okay, and I'll tell you what, afterwards, with the gold I'm getting for this, we're going to go on a nice date. Just oh, the two of us. sounds wonderful. Can't wait, Dolphins. Sounds wonderful. Sounds and just winky face. The same thing as you. All right, I guess. Yeah, no, I'll meet you up over at the Gladiator Arena. Aww. And then I'll Heart see emoji. you after your match. Snookums. Uh-huh. So. Me and Snow are gonna head. Well, out Wilson, we're all gonna go 
an alchemist. Yeah, okay. go to the alchemist shop. So, yeah, we go into the alchemist. Okay. Uh, hello, is anyone here? <laughs> what are you, what are you doing here? What? God. All right, listen. You know them? Uh, yeah, I know this one. Always it's been and a forever. while. It's been a while. I cross my see, heart. You see, you um, see, uh, a short three foot gnome with a big, uh, burly, uh, like stash, and big bulbous nose, and glass, like big thick pipe bottle glasses on. Well, I don't think I've had the pleasure of your acquaintance. My name is Zana. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm the alchemist that runs the place. So I'm um, uh, just the alchemist. The alchemist who runs the place. Yeah. The alchemist that runs the place. All right. Well, um. We have a big fight coming up, and we need to stock up on some potions. Figured as much. Thanks to you, I actually uh, moved up here. I'm trying to... It was his old man voice. Oh, it's up here. Oh, that's right. It's more up here. All right, yes. Um, yeah, no, thanks to you, I had to move up here because I was getting so many orders. I actually had to uh, move, a, move a shop, and now I've just got a subsection uh, down in the, uh, the Elven Village because business has been booming. Good for you, buddy. Great. Okay, so um, we're definitely going to want to buy cure potions. What do you have in stock? Uh, actually, now that you mention it, I've been uh, able to uh, get a lot more cure potions in order uh, as of recently. It, it seems like the overhunting of the slimes in the region has diminished since the Dark Guild has moved uh, on to higher floors. Great. So I, I can get you uh, all the way up to cure moderate wounds. How many of those you have available? Uh, I think like uh, five. Hmm, I'll take two. How much would they cost? Mm, standard pricing. Standard pricing. All right. Go and look it up yourself. Five you lazy gold. swine. I've got a, I got a, just a menu five. over there. Here you go. It's a level two spell. That doesn't help me. I know it doesn't. Well, level oh. two. Spell levels matter. Oh, fine. It's 300 gold per. Uh, uh. Gold? Yeah. Uh. You mean silver. Nope. Uh, I'm looking at it right here. Nani. Standard pricing, huh? Yep, standard price. Dear God. Diplomacy. What? Uh, no, that's the potion. Oh, my God. Okay. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Please. What, you're, read, you're actually reading the rules of potion creation? No, I already know what potion creation does, but um, God dang, I can make the potions for heaven's sakes. I just Could need. Could you? Yeah. I have craft alchemy. Yeah. I just need materials. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it costs money. Yeah. Do you have like a potion or something that I can coat my dagger in that would induce paralysis or something? Uh, Yeah, I could probably get you one of those. How much? Mm, but it's a single room. Get it to you for like uh, 50 gold per coating. It's one time use though. It's a pretty high uh, save. Um, We're really resisted. poor. <laughs> We've always been poor. Hold on a second. I thought I got discounts. Oh, wait. Yeah, I have a discount with you. Have you tried anything lethal recently? Give me. <laughs> Give me. Okay. He hands you a bottle of eyeballs. God dang it. Dude, if I drink a bottle of eyeballs, I take will it. I get a discount? Okay. So the eyeballs just go through the bottle surprisingly liquidy, <laughs> um, but it's really slimy as it goes down, um, and occasionally you mm. do feel like a bump in there. <laughs> 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 um and then this is as bad as um monster drink. Uh, uh-huh. Roll a uh, roll a fortitude save. That's pretty high for me, so that's not a good thing. Twenty two. Uh, no, it still goes off. Uh, well, I mean, oh, it depends. Are you choosing to accept the effect that it's going to undergo? I mean, please tell me it turns me into he. Um, sure. Okay, so you you allow the effect to go through. Um. And uh, you, you get a roll of will save real quick. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, my will total is twenty one. One, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. So you manage to endure the sensory overload, but you're seeing the entire world through a number of different perspectives, which you have never seen before, as your entire body is now covered with like two dozen eyeballs. That's weird. Oh, I can see my own breasts from here. Oh, oh, wait. There are, <laughs> there are eyeballs in those locations. <laughs> because they're like scattered randomly throughout mm. your body. But mm. it gives you a plus five to perception checks. Mm. Mm, Don't worry. Like, this should wear off by evening. Yeah, that's like it? reverse Is tryptophobia. It? Temporary plus five to perception. Let go. Can I try a potion for a discount? Uh, 
I only, I can't risk that many people's what? lives. It might hurt business, but I mean, if she buys what them, she gets the discount. No, if you give it to you. Oh. Wouldn't that oh. also what give her wanted the risk lack of, of flat footing? Like, wouldn't? Oh yeah, you can't be sneak attacked. Well, but also, wouldn't that also give her like a reflex bonus? No. You just can't be caught flat footed. All right. Um, so, how much is that paralysis now? Uh, with her discount, it'd go down to thirty gold per per coating. Two of them. One per okay. dagger. All right. So, I'll buy two of those. And also, how much is the uh, fear mod now? Uh, two fifty. How about we make it two hundred? Uh, how about we make it two thirty? Okay. Look. 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 I have tried how many potions and risk death for you. And how many discounts have I given you? The moderate only d- discounts. Moderate. And honestly, you know the, the cute little old alchemist lady down on floor one? Yeah. That she, old hag? What yeah. about her? Yeah. Isn't she your wife or something? What? No. See, God, no. Here's the She's thing. Here's the thing. I say that she could be your wife. And we could just start this little rumor here. And Spread I around. say <laughs> the next uh, potion <laughs> I give you could be spiked and murder you. So uh, how about we call it 225 and you leave my store? 225. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Give me 225. That's 600 total for two. No. No? Quick math. Oh, 500 then. No, stop it. My brain. 225 for two. For one. 225 for one. I'm saying for buying for two, two when I buy 50. two. 450. I'm bad at math. Leave me alone, man. If you man. want three, it would be 675. I can give... Mm, how many how many casts of cures do I I have three. Okay, so I can use that as a cast. I can cast for myself three times. Wilson. Yeah. How much how much how much money? I'm, Keep in mind, I don't usually get hit. I know. So do you want one? Mm. Okay, so one. Do you want two cures? Sure. I'll pay for them. Are you sure? But what else am I gonna do with my gold? I don't spend my money much. Okay. Um you, you realize I've got like four K gold on me, right? Why am I so poor? Because <laughs> you are a kleptomaniac and you never sell anything. A kleptomaniac means I steal things. Are uh, you saying I'm no, a thief? No, I mean, you you hoard things. Whenever you get a cool little knickknack, you can just kind of keep it in your inventory. You probably have the loot from the first monster you've ever killed. We're not going to talk about it, okay? Where Some th- people would say that's endearing. Anyway. It's kind of cute. Okay. Um, I'll buy all three. He pays for his too. Okay, he can pay for them, but he gives me the money so that he gets the discount at least. Yeah. Okay. Right. So that's the two twenty five for her, and then <sighs> what else? Will we Wilson? What do you think? We what else should we grab? I don't know. Do you want bears endurance? Uh, that'd be pretty good. Okay. So do you have a potion of bears endurance? Uh, yes. It would be the same price. <laughs> I don't think we really need it that bad. It's a 3v1. We should be fine, right? Yeah, and it's also against the champion. Just keep that in mind. So, okay, fine. I'm not right. really worried about myself. Tag I don't, team, don't get honestly. hit. You guys. Well, for might. Denise. <laughs> Denise? Why Denise? <laughs> D-nice. Denise? Denise? It's close to my third and final grandmother's name. <laughs> <sighs> okay, fine. Yes? I'm just... No. <laughs> I'm a worry ward. I don't want anyone to die. You know, that's just me. I'm sorry. Akula doesn't strike me as that kind of guy. I mean, he left Mr. Miata intact. Uh, Mostly. (laughs) Mostly. (laughs) Besides, you know, the trident to the stomach. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry, I'll get him back with the glaive. Yeah. Speaking of which, I passed him the spear. I promised it was yours. I was going to get it analyzed, but don't die from it, okay? Which spear is this? The black one. You have the stats for that written down? No, you never gave it to me. You actually never told me what the spear did. I'm trying to remember what it did. <laughs> Hearing it. Uh, oh, I think it was, it was... Yeah, I know what it does. You'll see. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, so I'll pass it to him. I'll be like, you're going to make better use of this than I will. Zana. You. We got this. Yeah. All right. Whoa, whoa, really why worried. am I not unless I did this? I put my hand on his shoulder awkwardly. Then I rested there for a second. I'm like, we, we got, we got, we got, we got this. Go team. Yeah, go team. Team. Group hug. Group hug. You're all, you're all huddled together. Okay. Mm. You guys get yourselves ready? Yeah, I yeah, guess we're, so. we're just not around you guys. What are you guys doing? We're just waiting. So I guess we just, just waiting? I'm just, just going to sharpen my hammer. Spear. What do you sharpen? <laughs> I'm stretching. Oh, that's what you do have your rocket spear. I have a spear. 
Clyde prepares the toast. Sharpened my wrench, I guess. What? Clyde prepares the toast. <laughs> yes, the toast. Make sure it's well oiled so it catches on fire better. Oh, jeez. But guess no, we don't have gasoline in this r- world. Uh, you I got wish. gunpowder. You have oil. Yeah, yeah, but like refined. Because you gasoline could. is really refined. You could work on that. Oh dear, I'm going to modernize project. this whole game. <laughs> Make it uber like, steampunky. Game creators be like, no, I didn't want you to do that. <laughs> so you all are on your way, uh, buying, purchasing things, uh, chatting people up. How much are you guys betting on these fights? Everything that I have left. Same. How much do you have left? 500. I'll keep eight gold. <laughs> You'll keep eight gold. Okay. Why is such a specific? Uh, never mind. I, I only have, have nothing. I have 100. <laughs> you only have 100 Zana gold? Zana says she's yeah. going to bet 150. Okay, so you have 500? That's yeah. a total. And I keep eight. Cool. So the total betting pool for you guys is 1,000 gold. And because of the chances and the likelihood, if you guys win, that will be uh, multiplied 23 times because ah! the odds are not so ever in your favor. Ah! Um, whereas you guys uh, collectively are going to bet uh, because you bet 100. Clyde's going to throw in a little bit, too. Uh, you're, you guys are throwing in 250 gold. Can I, like, find a piece of silver on the ground on the way there? Yeah. It, 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 <laughs> 250 gold <laughs> and one and silver. One silver. <laughs> I contributed. And that will be multiplied two and a half times if you guys win. Because people okay, two and a half people are kind of looking at like in the cut of your jib. Boys. Don't die, Clyde. We're good. I rolled through this. Oh, shit. What did you shoot do? Shoot me in the foot. <laughs> and I'm just letting you know, I rolled the same number three times. Three times in a row. I saw. So I rolled for what you'd be fighting. You rolled a four three times. And I put them in order of difficulty. <laughs> the dice gods are nice. <laughs> so Maybe I, I should roll the. Please. Um. So I have the stat block for what you're fighting. All right. I have my bounce block. Right, but so good. we're going to die. Nah. Oh, wait. It's evening. Yes. Oh, uh, we're good. Adam, do you want to look at the stat block for what they're fighting? Are these guys like level, level 12? Uh, no, I, honey, it's not on there. I need to. Uh... You guys can do it. No, do not give up. Oh, I'm not giving up. I just feel like he know is. Know your spells. Get yourselves ready. Get, make, get a, yourselves, make a game plan. Get yourselves prepared. You can scroll through that real quick. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So here's the deal, right? I have a spell called I have a spell that called Charming Smiles, which I can charm people, uh, but it can be used as like a swift, um, and I can do this uh, nine times. Okay. So if there are three of them, if there are three of them, and uh, while I'm charming them, you and Clyde just kill them. Okay. Just massacre them. All right. And then when it wears off, we'll do it again. And then it wears off, and it's so you can do that three times you can do it in three a row. Times, okay. All right. I have a question. Do you have damaging DM. spells as well? Yes. yes, he does. Okay. I was going to say, yeah. who let you pick all the charm spells again? No, 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 no. I, I got this one as a uh, gift from, I got this <laughs> one as a gift from, uh, what's her face? Mm-hmm. From Ashara, right? Yeah. yeah. GM, does mm-hmm. Napstack make people fall asleep? No. Okay. Dang it. Napstack so, yeah. actually helps people sleep better. Why? Yeah, that I know. I was just wondering. Why? What's your most powerful spell? What's what your most powerful magic? thing to do? I don't want to do magic. Yeah, yep. what do you, what did you, what's yep. your plan? Bow. What's what's your plan? How do you deal the most damage? Yep. Tell bow me. Yes. And an arrow. And I put the arrow in the bow and I pull back the right. draw string. I take <laughs> off my bow. I take off my my bow and and I an arrow quiver and I give it over to Oh, uh, Clyde. I mean my my bow's better. I I can take the quiver. Okay, take the quiver. Cool. Give it back to me afterwards. Sure. Okay. Okay, so the way this works is you can just think of Look, just use it for any arrow you would want to use it for. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, I know. Program it to however your liking is. Right. Yeah, I get right? that. Well, the cool thing is, well, I actually... It runs about, Java. Think uh, about <laughs> think about long-term strategic killing. Well, so I mean, the, poison, yeah. paralyzing things. Right. Okay, because... You know, I get that. Okay? Don't worry. I got this. Fire. Mm-hmm. Giant area of effect no, damages. We're good. Don't worry. All right, yeah. Daniel, what's your plan? Yeet bread at them. Yeet bread and Yeet them. <laughs> and you're a resident healer. Yeet them. Make sure none of you die. Okay, and <laughs> you got a little spear. 
the, the I little want you, to you have a hammer. Kill them. <laughs> you have a really... Well, yeah, no kidding. That kind of goes without saying. <laughs> this is going to be hard. Vilma, what's your plan? Beep, boop, boop, boop. Eat Wilma, bread at them. <laughs> don't just throw bread at them. Don't just throw toast at them. I throw but flaming toast at fire them. Fire toast at them. Woo, that is the plan. Go team. Go <laughs> team. That's right. Everybody, put your hand in the center. Wilma is the first one to put it. Guys. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Here, I'll be an extra. There you go. Three, <laughs> no, three. two, one. Go the team. team. Yeah. We are odd. Let's get some, let's make make this bread. Let's get, let's get this with bread. It. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> let's just all make sure we don't die. That'd be fantastic. Clyde, oh, you taking your stage two. name again? What's my stage name? Dark Ronin, I thought. No, Odd Ronin. Oh yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, oh, oh yeah, everyone. What's our stage name? What I stage name. Really couldn't the funky care fish. Less. Okay, so you're the funky fish. <laughs> I'm the odd Ronin. What, what about you, Daniel? Damn, Daniel. Daniel, because I'm again with the Playboy <laughs> team. <laughs> I'm a smack all of you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just came to me because you are wearing a plain I'm white a tee. Smack all of you. <laughs> Stop it, Mo. It's not cool. Do you want me to do it actually, or do you want me to do it in game, oh, or do you want me to do it in both? Both. All of the above. All oh, right. Speaking of smacking, I do have a mechanical hand. You do. Use that to your advantage. Why do I Listen get four me. weapons and a shield? This Rocket, is ridiculous. Rocket we are going to freaking massacre these people. I only okay. have two hands. I'll have you know. I'll, give, I'll as, give Sal the wrench. As the funky flying fish, mm. I will, the FFF, mm. okay? I will <laughs> triple F. <laughs> can I get uh, can triple F in the chat? chat? <laughs> no, no, it's like triple H from WWE. Yeah, I'm like, aware. Yeah. Yeah. But not. Can we get three F's in chat, please? Rule. The shape of water. The most seductive man in the land. The funky. The flying fish man. <laughs> Yeah, they call me fish man. I'm under the house. Okay, yeah. please, stop. Stop. <laughs> so, please stop. We're going to stop that. Me. I was going to see Daniel, where it went because I was name? reading things. I'm not going to have a stage name. Daniel, because right. I'm original. Sure, well, let's roll with it. Just call him no, the most the ori original Daniel. The most original <laughs> man. <laughs> the OGD. The original OGD. man. <laughs> the original D. <laughs> uh, the, the initial how D. About origi how about God? God I can't like be mad original at you. Daniel. GM, I can't be mad at you for referencing my <laughs> favorite right, anime. I know, I know, that's why I did it. Yeah, yes. that's his favorite anime. I, shall favorite I was anime. so happy when Mother's Basement made a video on it. I'm like, yay. <laughs> With all that being said, um, you're in the Coliseum and you're walking through your, your gated hallway. The gate opens as it's done before and you uh, walk into this little pit. Smaller than the main Coliseum, but it's still, it's just like kind of like wooden palisades around to prevent you from getting out, not like giant concrete walls. But in front of you are seemingly large and completely unintelligible creatures that barely pass for humanoids. They, they all basically look like different versions of the hunchback of Notre Dame. They're just Aww. ugly, deformed. No, don't make fun of the hunchback. Giant. Well, yeah. But they're they're all carrying large clubs and morning stars. All right, mm. sense intellect. No, Low. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> That's a new one, but I'm gonna give it to you. Low. Uh just barely at average. Okay. So does the fight start? And uh, you hear uh, an announcer come on. All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the uh, the side thing. I'll be uh, j jumping back over to the, the main event later on, if any of you want to check that out. Instead, it's probably going to be a lot more interesting than this massacre. Um, but what's going on uh, right here is we, we've we got uh, the meatheads over there <laughs> versus a couple of random schmucks, uh, the initial D, a funky fish fellow, and some really uh, weird-looking samurai dude. Um... So without any further ado, because I don't really care, uh, we're just going to get this underway and let me know when it's done uh, so I can uh, pay the winners. Real quick, uh, take a total defense action. Do I have to continue the total defense action? or it, to, to, start to, use it, my to start it, it takes a 
standard action. And afterwards, okay. it only takes a move action to continue, I believe. Okay. You might want to look it up. Edgewise, it is a full round action to start and a standard action to keep continuing. I can't quite remember. There are a lot of rules in path. Okay, so the best way to do it is after I attack? No, the best way to do it is start it or else you won't get the bonus and then to attack later. Okay, so, but I need to charm them first. Uh, yes, yes, you do. Yeah. Uh, and remember, charming someone is, uh, I don't know, is it? It's not a swift action always, is it? Yeah, it is. Uh, do you mind pulling up the, 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 the ability for me? Uh, well, so, I mean, you can only use one swift action around anyways. You can defend yourself as a standard action. Standard action. Okay. And it takes a move action. You can't action. combine total defense with fighting defensively or with the benefit of combat expertise feat. You uh, can't make a tax opportunity while using total defense. Yeah. Okay, so when That's I use total defense, uh, I can't make it, charming to smiles. To continue it. Your, is it your a standard AC action every time? improves at the start of this action. Yeah, I get that. But uh, to continue the uh, total defense action, does it specify? No. Is it just a standard action every round? You can defend yourself as a standard action. Okay, so it's, it'll be standard action every round, which means all you will For have is one a, round. Yeah, so it, it, the effect only lasts for one round, but you say you wish to continue it each round, and that'll consume your standard action, which would leave you with a move action and your swift action. So I can actually charm, so I can start so the total defense charm and charm someone person. and move if you wish. Gotcha. Okay, so, that's even better. Um, okay. Uh, just uh, to give you uh, an outline of the arena, it's pretty standard. It is a big circle, and you're just kind of both standing in a bit of a, a triangle formation here. Daniel's up front. I would assume Clyde's on the back, right-hand side. Mohit, you're on the uh, back, left-hand side. And they just are in... Doesn't really matter the order. Oh, where's Wilma? Uh, where do you want Wilma to be? Right beside you? Um, yeah, probably. Okay. So then you guys are got basically a two-thick line of, of uh, tanks here. Uh, do you have Wilma's stats on you? Did I ever give you Wilma's stats? Did you write out Wilma's stats? You assume I write out stats. I just give that to you. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate that. Yeah, seriously, I don't understand Pathfinder stats. You do it. <laughs> uh, do you have a sheet for Wilma? I am totally dependent on you for this, GM. Uh, yay. All right. Well, with all of that being said, we're going to leave off on that cliffhanger for you guys, because unfortunately, one of our players does have to go. Right? Sorry. I'm your river. And in the meantime, in the interlude, we'll have to catch up with this fight next session in which we'll find out Wilma's stats and we will continue this wonderful bout against um, the meatheads as they are known. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Cool. So, uh, it's ciao, all of you guys. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm. Say bye to everyone. Bye. 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 Uh, which, which means uh, for the rest of you, uh, lovely listeners, we're going to be cutting to the lovely Zana Xerxes Zion and snow as they enter the arena. So in contrast to the poor schmucks in the pit, and the wooden palisades, uh, you guys are in just about the opposite situation where not quite as big as the Miata fight because uh, everyone thinks you're just going to get the ever-living schnot beat out of you. But there is still a reasonably large crowd of a few thousand individuals um, gathered and piled up in this Coliseum all to see what I believe. And you hear the chanting of his name echoing through the entire hall as it bellows out and comes into your corridor as you three make your way through the hallway as the gate lifts up and you step foot into the arena. Mm. Did, we, did you change, did you use your stage name? My fetish? Yeah. Yes. What's your stage name? You haven't been in here yet. I know, I haven't been. I'm a, I'm, I'm a snow... I'm... Snow <laughs> <No> white? <laughs> Yo, no, fine. I'll go... I'll, uh, dawn. We'll go by Dawn. Emily. Dawn? You go by, <laughs> so you're Snow Dawn? No, it's dawn. Dawn. It's dawn. 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 Dawn flower. Like fine. What, what do you want to be? Fine. Snow dawn. Okay. Fine. I use my my um one of my many actual usernames that I've you used. You ever see Snow Dawn on Steam? You snow know dawn it's her. Thirty eight. There you go. No, there's also Snow Dark thirty eight. Ooh. And then there's um Snow. No. And then there's a My Heart. Oh, I mean Sweetheart. Is What's it Wilson's? The, the Destroyer. destroyer. Hmm. Wilson the Destroyer. Behind yeah. his yeah. back, I just go, oh, cool. <laughs> With the hand motion. He accepts this. All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event for the evening. As you are all aware, qu qu quiet down, everyone. And the, the roar does not quiet, and everyone's trying to think, Rival up, Rival up, Rival up. Well, anyways, in Who's this corner, we have uh, my fetish. Snowdon and the Destroyer. 
Whereas in the other corner, we have the one, the only reigning champion of the ring, Rabolo. I thought I was supposed to fit the Aquila guy. His full name is Aquila Rabolo. <laughs> wow, we already sound so I bad. was severely misinformed. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, Aquila makes his way in the ring, and under the dull roar, you hear the faint murmur of a song, and eventually it starts to catch on in the entire stadium singing it. it, it oh, are you guys perception checking? Do you want to hear what it is? Uh, do we do have a choice? Do you want me to sing? Because I don't think you do. If you, you can say, no, I don't want to hear your ugly singing. And I, I want to hear your ugly singing. Okay. Sure, I'll okay. perception check. Okay, your perception check. And you hear a totally not copywritten song. Um, it starts out as a murmur, uh, as a group of like six or eight people started out. They all look equally as rough and tough as Rybolov. And they start singing, My father told me someday I would find land with new oars, sail to distant shores, high up in the prow, noble bark I steer, steady course for heaven, humany foemen. Too many foemen. That, 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 that's just on repeat as he entered the arena and the chanting of his name, because that's his theme song. Theme. Hi. Dang, we need a theme song. Uh. And, and you can barely hear yourselves think over the bum- boisterous echo of their voices. Yeah, I can't help but find myself getting in tune with the song. I'm going to wave to him. Uh, so you can jive a little. But I'm going gonna, gonna to wave to him very, very nicely. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Wait, you are the puny people who interrupted last bout. What are you doing here? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't. I did. Snow did. I know. He's pointing. Well, Wilson did. Yeah, he's pointing to those two. Ah, uh, we thought we'd have a great old joust with you. See uh, how we do? All right, well, if you're allies of Miata, you shall find a similar fate to him. Hi. <laughs> he's still alive, right? Good? Yes, right? he's fine. Okay. Hi. So I just mean... Hilariously defeated, humiliated, and moderately decapitated. Senpai notice me. Senpai does not notice you. <laughs> um, I begin. I would like to cast Allegro on myself just mm-hmm. to prepare. Okay. So I'm casting Allegro. Yeah. No crit fail. Allegro basically says that I am hasted while main and I can maintain a bardic performance, which I would start my bardic performance of um do 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 before we start any combat because I don't want to have to deal with this. What's the um. I need to. Look I want to detect up. magic on him. Yep. Currently. Is a valid action to take. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a level two spell if that's what you're looking for. No. Allegro. Detect magic on him? Yes. Yes. Type? Do I need a, like, a magic uh, arcana transmutation. check? Transmutation. Oh. Um, he, so uh, he looks really raggedy. The best thing to think of is Jason Momoa. He, he does. He has. I know. Thank you. Mm. Tasty man meat. I agree. Uh, long, flowing, kind of curly hair, bushy beard. He's just wearing basically what looks like a fur-esque vest, um, a loincloth, and leather boots. Mm. Um, he has four nets attached to his hip, um, and he is holding a trident. Hi. Well. Hi. Well, then. Um, what are you looking for? What do you need from As you were um, asking about the spell. Yes. I need to know how countersong works. Countersong. Mm-hmm. Countersong is a magical effect that depends on sound. Allies within 30 feet use performance in place of saving throw. That's how countersong works. Uh, so I would roll a countersong, and countersong counters an auditory sound. That's all it does. Countersong doesn't do anything to spells unless it's like an auditory thing. Okay, well, it, what kind of performance are you performing? It's a battle dance. I'm doing a, a battle dance. dance. Okay, so you're fine. Okay, cool. I'm doing a battle dance. Cool. Sorry, yeah. but I, yeah. So it is, I was basically saying, if you were to be singing, the song of a cooler radiating I'm through aware. the arena would have muffled it so much that its effects would have been diluted and almost completely mitigated. Yeah. Um, but since you're dancing, you're A-OK. Is he not even paying attention to me? I do not commune with the dead. <laughs> or the soon to be. I just, they just. You're all fine here. For now. <laughs> Somebody noticed me! <laughs> all right. With tensions high and everyone preparing for their fights on both ends, with Clyde, Daniel, and Sal all making their way against the meatheads, and the three of you in an intimidating presence of, in an uh, audience of thousands, and this uh, well-known and feared man 
in front of you as we stand. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to end it off for this episode, unfortunately. And we'll Bye. get back to the bloodshed next time. I got a snow time. here bringing you the end of that patch, episode. Uh, fest. Sounds like we got some uh, nice stuff lined up. Anyway, uh, we want to say thank you again to Eric Matthias for providing us with one of the sounds that we used today, as well as Michael Galfi uh, for some of our ambiance music. And as always, our very own RL, who makes a lot of the music now uh, for our Sword Art Online Odd podcast. If you want to obtain any of RL's music, you can do so by going to our Patreon and supporting us at bit.ly forward slash support MRPF. And again, you can also send us your questions at bit.ly forward slash ask MRPF. Thanks, guys. See you next week. <laughs>